Yeah, I'll back you with Tales of Zestiria for what maybe could be the last time. Well, there's still all kinds of DLC and stuff, other extra stuff to do, but this may be the episode where we beat it, is my point. A few quick notes before I carry on. Number one, um, I kept, I, like, last time when we went to the, the Explorer Poet Maven's uh, tomb, and, there, and there, we met a, an old man in, in Logren who was all like, Oh, she was a looker back in the day, or whatever the heck he said. I, I was all like, hey, that guy kind of looks kind of like a seraph. Too bad he's a human, just like an idiot. We're forgetting that seraphim have been returning to human settlements, so that's that's pretty dope. Settlements are no longer just human settlements, they're human and seraphim settlement, settlements. So, like, we've seen co a lot of coexistence, unbeknownst to most of the humans, because most of them don't have very much resonance at present, but... That's another, <laughs> that's another task for after we get all the seraphim to come back to start living with uh, in, in, in settlements, which seems to have started happening quite a bit, which is great. Also a note that I just completely forgot to mention, this series has now surpassed uh, th um, our Azure Maddening run as our longest series on the channel, so go us. One other thing, I didn't really mention it last episode, but props to Simone's actor for crying for like a minute straight. That was so impressive and I was genuinely taken aback. But I was I was trying to get across whatever point stupid point I was saying, so I didn't end up <laughs> commenting or, or or praising it, and I should have done. And the final and perhaps most immediately relevant note: I know that I said that if we found Gramps' pipe, I wasn't gonna go back and do the cats thing. But since I'm expecting and sort of kind of gonna strive for ending this uh, series today, well, except for all the side stuff. Finishing the game today, getting hitting that sweet, sweet credit sequence today, I figure there's no harm in at attacking a little 10 minute uh, bit onto that. And you might say, well, but you don't know where the pipe is. How could you possibly? But I do know where the pipe is because off camera, I, I, I had that thought. I was like, it seems very weird that Rose was all, hey, you should go ch check out your Gramps' place like this. And then there wasn't actually anything um, especially new, except for the new dialogue. Like, there, there, you would think that if it was just the dialogue, that wouldn't be a side quest bubble. Usually the side quest bubble is like a thing you can do that will make it go away. And naturally I poked around a bit on my own, when just like using my actual eyes instead of just running around and like saying the first thing that came to my head, which is the only thing I do when I record. And if you can see right there, there's a very obvious pipe sitting there on top of a letter. And here's the skit, Gramps' letter. So, uh, probably shouldn't have noticed that. Too bad. We're here now. Serate, isn't that I, Zenris, shall record the truth regarding the birth of the human Serae and the Seraph Miklio here in writing? That's Gramps' handwriting. <laughs> I mean, Seray he did introduce himself. Miklio are survivors of Camlon, the, the origin, origin village, village where the age of chaos unfolded. Miklio's mother is Muse, the younger sister of the late shepherd, Michael. Serae's mother is Selene. A citizen of Camlon. This is stuff we know already. I have been entrusted to the care of both of them by Muse, who managed to escape from Camlon. I closed off Elysia with my domain. Oh, that's right, 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 okay. To raise both of them in an isolated place. When we last saw Muse in the flashback, she was all like, I'll go sacrifice myself for this if you can't care of my child. <laughs> It's the same memory that Maven showed me. Right. Yeah. Well, all of us. So that would make it right after Mautelis became a Hellion. Right, okay. Well, he was like, I don't know what's going to happen to me. Better record this. First met Zenris? I see. So that would mean Gramps told her of the incident in Camlon and the start of the Age of Chaos. And so she earned the power to purify through the oath and waited until the shepherd appeared. <laughs> She's just like, I can't say anything. <laughs> Is there anything else mentioned in there, Saray? Oh, so did you know it was us when we showed up? Burden with the tribulations of the era, shall still live in peace. Oh, that's but sweet. If, uh. But if these children should challenge their fate and desire to create a new world, then may they receive the blessings of both humans and seraphim alike, so that their will for a new future may be fulfilled. So Gramps knew all along. He did. Right. Well, I mean, I guess that's kind of... He did say that at some point he was all... Well, knew all along about what? Just that... I guess you're saying... You know what? Actually, I'm not sure what you're saying. Because I assumed, I assumed what you were saying actually for a minute there was that he knew you were going to be the um, uh, shepherd and, and a sublord. But then I... That was specifically his intent and he said it as much. So, uh, never mind. I'll take that pipe though. Yoink! 
This is like the third time I've just picked this up. <laughs> Great, well that was pretty important. I, uh, I actually I'm, I'm quite happy I did that. I would've been pretty sad. I, no man, no one's cleaned up any of these bodies, eh? I would've been pretty, uh, upset to only have done that in the end game. That's, that's, uh, that's good stuff to have. Um, and so I'll quickly dart over there and grab the... Whatever the Cat's Guild has to say about this pipe. So we basically cleared out every side quest except we should do the Crucibles, because I don't really want to do the Crucibles right now. And then we'll have full rank to charge back into that dungeon and get back those other three big monsters done and then charge ahead to the final battle, which I, which is what I presume will, which is what will happen. Sorry, I'm a little off it right now. I basically just woke up. But I was so excited. I was like, today may be the day. Apple dumpling! Heck yeah. It's weird, I always think of dumplings as being savory, but here's an apple dumpling, which uh, may raise your defense max in the next battle if you level up, which is... Not something we're probably gonna use soon. I guess it's basically like a turnover. A whole apple baked in, wrapped in thai, pie dough and baked. Don't forget the cinnamon. Yeah. I always think of dumpling as, when I think dumpling, I think savory, but I guess there's no reason it couldn't be described as such. All right there, cats. What have ye to say about this funky, funky pipe? How high ranking do you perceive my grandfather as being? And does this unlock some kind of new merchant or something for us? Cause that would be heckin' dope. Hello. Oh, do you have proof of anything like that? No. You tell me. Okay. <laughs> this is Sir Zenris's pipe. A friend of his is a friend of ours. Wicha! Oh, thanks. That's very sweet. Gah! Where is it? Where is happening? Who is I? <gasps> oh my good god, it's an actual place and stuff. They do have a store. Oh, I didn't expect it was gonna be a... Maybe we'll have to save this for... Post-game. Let's track down that turtles again. <laughs> All right, I can't say I was expecting that to be part of the music. Wow, I completely forgot. He's supposed to be in Cat's Corner, right? Right you are. So there's a small little side quest thing right here. What's with the massive chest? Would you like to go back, Meow? Not just yet. Let us know when you leave, Meow. I was not expecting an entire theme park. Oh, hey, there are... Oh, is that the... Has the Toyos finally found his rivals? That looks like a member of the Dark Turtles Emporium. Was not expecting a little fun, happy, fun fair club. A weapon store, is it? Topaz, Topaz, Topaz. Oh, okay. Weaponsmith Cat's Claw. I suppose I'll buy some items. Perhaps if you get their their friend as rank up, they uh, they have slightly more interesting stuff. That's a shame. I was kind of hoping for like permanently viable perm buffs or something like that. Whatever. <laughs> so true to their word, uh, the language sword can merge with damn near uh, ba basically every other sword, and I accept the I expect the worn out pendulum is the same. If you merge it with anything, it doesn't become whatever it was. It becomes worn out pendulum plus. So I guess the idea is you build something up to gear plus ten, and then you merge it with this to make it a worn out pendulum plus 10 and then you sanctify that who knows what that'll do uh but i don't want to do that for now that'll be something we explore in the end game i suppose okay i don't necessarily need to ex ex f interface with all this just yet although i wouldn't mind seeing what's in this massive f off chest kitty cap it's a cap and a cat meow we're talking oh my god i've never registered uh lila's a bit of equipment here that would have been close if i had just messed that up <laughs> That's adorbs. I should put that on top of Zafid's current top hat, but I like all this stuff. And did my eyes to see me or were there? Oh, hey, there's an inn here. You must have come a long way, Meow. This here Georgias Inn is the cat's whiskers. What kind of food you got here? Saka salmon terrine, roasted chicken, mabo curry. Oh, just mabo curry. A fusionistic uh, dish combining pork, tofu, and curry. De -de 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 delicious. Oh, it's like the mabo curry buns, except better. I think I definitely want that. Salt grilled sorry. Fatty sorry simply uh, grilled simply with salt. Once only have it grilled or you'll be sorry. <laughs> when max hit count is but I'll receive an experience bonus. That's nice. I suppose I'll put this on for now since it's not too expensive for it all. Yeah, totally was not expecting an entire new map for this. I had I had I was all the way expecting it to just be like one little storefront or something. This is uh beyond my wildest dreams. What's with the bouncing mice? I'm sorry, there was a there were orbs over here, were there not? Who are you hiding from? Why do you all have fish on your tails? Is that actually that maybe a mythology thing? I'm not sure. Anyway, Kevin Meal, that's for me. Is this the, the foe whom you've been waiting to do battle with? Please tell me this is not a fight I have to get involved with. What's this song? Everyone loves them turtles. It's called the Hymn of Turtles. It's an old family song, a real blast from the past. This is the guy you wanted to kill? 
Seems pleasant so far. It's a song supposed to turn away folks you ain't long in the sea. But it looks like it did the opposite. All right, they're coming into this a little aggressively. So, well, that one's eyes were very sparkly. Like they say, you gotta be like the titles. At ease in your own shells. <laughs> then you've done well. Enough talks. Atone for your betrayal of the Turtles Clan! <laughs> Good heavens. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to play as the Toyles and duel the other one. Oh god, no. Oh my god. What in God's name? <laughs> the fake moon <laughs> they're standing in front of. What? What if I walked in on here? We're so sorely lacking in context. Good heavens! Because you have a massive FF shell on your back. I I don't know. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, this is going to be so difficult, isn't it? Crustacean! Level 198 weak to arts! Oh, this is probably some kind of endgame boss. Let's give it one single try, and then we'll carry on with the rest of everything. He wields dual swords. No, wait, those aren't swords. They look like fish. Are they fish? They can't be fish. Are they fish? <laughs> there is a slight chance they are fish. Kia! You're going to fight him, Saray? I can't just leave him alone. Hey, your accents! <laughs> your accents! McBoy's not doing it. Why not join us? Yeah, I think he's not. <laughs> That's brilliant. Wait, hang on. Didn't we have one really good art against crustaceans here? Is it, um... Tower of Blood? No, wait. Which one is... Oh, Scorched Valley. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like Tower of Blood. It's like this big killer thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah! Yeah! Your brave horn, my Doyos friends! This can't be all your life is about, good soys! If you're a member of the Dark Doyos clan, surely you understand the importance of striking a good deal! At least they don't resist anything. Oh, right. Bang! Oh, God. Now you've done it! <laughs> I'm not prepared to handle your level. They're gonna have some crazy mystic, aren't they? Yeah! Yeah! God, so tanky. 177,000 health. And they're only definitely gonna get some, like, way more powerful skills as this goes on. I can just put a bit of crown fire out here. I don't think their art defense was quite as strong. Yeah. I didn't expect this would culminate in a fight, all right, but <laughs> I'm so glad it did. This is the best way to end that little quest line. God, we gotta be careful about all getting hit at once by those uh, arches because of how overwhelmingly powerful it is. Ow! Oh, God. Got it. I uh, got the dodge. You're gonna charge at me, and I'm gonna armatize here and do a bit of that. And then our rose is back up. Never ended up trying Cloud Burst. Let's give that a go. Yeah! Clabberst! Oh yeah, that's dope. I like that. Uh, Virulent Shards is Crustaceans, alright. That's not Virulent Shards. My stick was stuck in the left position, so I did Razor Vortex. Okay, uh... Yeah, it's, it's hard to do in a, uh, without, like, a bit of lead-up. But now that the power hit started, we can do a bit of this kind of stuff. Nice Reflect, sorry. Level 198. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't look especially good for us, does it? <laughs> That's the way of the world. <laughs> right, well, we can do that a little later. Oh, shit, I didn't even save after during any of that. Come, let me just speed right through that again so we can get all that stuff before the end. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting a fight, which is why I wasn't, like, really saving. <laughs> That's amazing. Can't wait to do that in the end game. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> the cardboard moon in the background. Oh, Miklio's title leveled up from that also, which I did not first check out the first time. One of them did, anyway. Sorcerer of the Roiling Tor uh, Torrent, proof of a channeler who claims the water's unyielding torrent to sweep away his foes. Aegis of the Torrent, proof of one who has mastered water's mana to protect both himself and his irreplaceable friends. Staff Magus, a title for one who combines staff techniques with water's mana to sweep away foes. I'm not sure we had too many of those, but I like the both defenses. Oh, yeah, you've also got, like, almost all uh, gold ones. Umbrella Magus, a first wave wielder of uh, umbrellas. Don't let the fact that she's only the only umbrella wielder take around take away from that. May I direct you to Setsna from uh, Soul Calibur? You know what? Actually, her her umbrella is actually a sword, so I guess that doesn't count. But Fire Emblem Fates has sword wielders that can wield an, a parasol if you give them one, which is the best weapon in the game. Aegis of the Earth Pulse, both valiant as a volcano and protective as Mother Earth. A title for a powerful wielder of earth arts who assists her allies. Sorceress of the Fulminant Earth. 
Fulminant is being a word that I do not know the definition of. A wielder of arts who personifies the Earth's wrath. The word trouble doesn't even begin to cover the consequences of crossing her. Ready. I'll carry on with this one. Reclusive flower. A flower without name, but she doesn't mind. She blossoms for herself, not for others. When was that established? Ooh, yeah, this one is a little more attack and increased blast gauge, but it's got all this stu rate this battle start stuff instead of all this stuff like time, item reduce reduction time and armata armatus power up. If I were so desirous of uh, seeing her new mystic, I could put this on and then the the new gown. But I suppose we'll, we, I don't have any burning desire to see that done right now. Anyway, sorry. Let me just redo that cat stuff and then I'll be back on my way in the dungeon. So at the end, we didn't end up finding any uh, blue or purple orbs, which is a shame. But whatever, we shall survive. Hopefully there's a teleport right before the last boss so we can uh, get get an easy teleport back here to go get some of this. Oh, skit. This didn't happen last time. Friendship before the final battle. Sure. That's pretty sudden. All right, we're gonna go clockwise, starting from me. Here we go. Yes. Ah, uh, darn! I can't think of anything <laughs> else that starts with an L. Even Miklio's out of the game now. How could it be? Out since she got bored of it quickly. So oh no! <laughs> this is gonna get super ridiculously ben. intense. Lose Rob Roulet. Wait, that's, that's cheating. <laughs> Table. Emblem. God, you guys are way too fast at this. Oh. God, you guys are so fast at this. Pendulum. What an intense <laughs> This is the power of a seraphim who has lived for a long time. A long time, huh? Wow. <laughs> I was, I was, at first I was like, you know what? It would be a funny bit as if I tried to play the game with them before that. But then they were just like rap, rapid fire, like, lime, ear, rabbit. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Your power is incredible. I like to go back now. Meow. Thank you. That's so dope. Right, so we got one of the a boss, and it looked like there would be four, uh, three, there were three other podiums w uh, with which would contain bosses. I'm guessing they will also give us one of them like worn out sword type things or whatever the they are called. Although if there are only three more, then you would have to wonder whether a lot there, there should be six altogether. So I, I might have missed another mutant hellion somewhere in um, Camlon. But I won't worry about that for now. Anyway, apparently Marble Curry tastes even better if it's not in a bun, which is I wouldn't have expected, but there you go. Now I feel we can press on without any distractions. Is the lighting here weird or is it just me? It maybe it's just me. It was weird a second ago. Oh yeah, see, it's like it's sparkly now, and now it's dull. It's so weird. Right, okay, so I say we head to the, the east side first because there's um apparently one big podium full of a monster that <laughs> we did not previously check out. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Actually, I could put on a holy bottle right now, and then it would make monsters b bugger off, wouldn't it? It's weak foes will not be encountered. Not be encountered. Let's just have a dry at it. Feel the presence of holy spirits. Oh, it's the next time you escape from a battle that it goes away. That's right. Hey, look, we're all glowy now. It feels like it's working. Like I think I thought there was usually a monster over on this side. Anyway, right from here, it looks like we could probably dip uh, zip across there. I finished the preparations. Well done, you. Yes, I swapped him to that recently. For this last battle, so we can get a few more of these should it uh, come to it. Oh, there's a new ghosty here. Actually, I do want to let them in logged in my book. Attack me, Spectre. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's so creepy. A Spectre, a ghost that wanders this world. I want to show them sympathy if I were you. Don't worry, I'm not here to give a sermon. I can still show sympathy. <laughs> well done in restraining, uh, exercising restraint and making another rose joke game. Right, I'll just block this till we can leave. And that'll, that's my holy bottle gone, but whatever. I'm not sure it was having a tremendous effect anyway, because I couldn't, I don't think anyone would describe these enemies as weak, particularly. Unless it just meant any enemy that isn't a boss. Anyway, that, that um, that's brought us over here, and this is, we were apparently over here because that chest is open, but we didn't go up this tower, which seems silly. Why would I have done that? Oh, wait, what? It looks like we were as far as here. Is this just the one with the pinwheels again? No, no, this is one. Oh, I guess I just never went up this tower. All right, okay. Let's see who or what be lying there in wait. Uh, ooh, it's like a spooky sorcerer. Sure, I gotcha, I gotcha. I don't know if that we have to do these, but uh, I sure want to. Yeah. Catapult pass. <laughs> Weak to water. Got it. Right, they don't have any uh, uh, dialogues for these. Eh. But I may as well uh, use the water I'm at us here if it's weak to water. Yeah. I'm glad they're being, uh, they're restraining themselves and not making these like the absolute worst enemies ever because there are four of them that we got to do here. Well, gotta. Either way, this will give us uh, handy chunks of XP, some new swords maybe, and um, uh, hopefully some imbued orbs. To boot, it doesn't appear to be doing any spell casting just yet, which is a little peculiar. Let me do a bit of the this. All right, I was holding it down. It's like it. I guess it, the first hit has to properly stagger them or something. Because I was definitely holding it down. Like, I'm holding it down. 
so weird. They have to already be in a combo from someone else, I guess, which was not adequately explained to me at any point. Very well. Oh god, they got oh something they're doing spells. Please don't be Hellgate. Ah, oh, okay, it was Vengeance and Fangs. That one's easy to dodge. Anytime this game does Hellgate, I just die. Oh, bang that! Nice. Would have been nice to do a Mystic then, but that's fine. All right, so it's got a few powerful spell hitting spells here and there, but it doesn't it doesn't strike too fast. It's running away to spell cast, I assume. Why else would it run so far? But it just totally failed. Ow! I was beginning to laughing at it, and I got hit by this little thing. I'm playing for a stun here, so I can get a, a Mystic out. A uh, power hit Mystic on a stun. Because that's like tens of thousands of damage. I did already get one stun in this fight, but I didn't capitalize too well. Ow. Ancient Nova. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. <laughs> All the heavy hitting I expect from Lila. Okay, one neat little package. Well, I spent so long trying for a, a stun that I'm probably just gonna end up taking it out in a minute here. Why do they keep doing strategy shield from far away? I don't I don't understand if that's it, it's supposed to do something that I don't understand, or if they is just being really dumb. Right. No, more, no use in continuing to wait for this stupid stun. Because at this point, a stun will take- I'll be able to take them out almost with anything. Nice. And I actually charged another Mystic just now, uh, with that thing they let me do. So as long as they do a stun here... Uh, okay, never mind, they're doing this again. Just back dodge everything. And they're already in a combo, so I can do a bit of this. Ah, I messed it up. Ah. The, the, the rules are weird, like, the, my enemy has to sort of be hitting them already, kinda. Or my friend has to. Uh, whatever, actually, at this point, uh, <laughs> I may as well just use the full one. Like that. Yonk! Is that it? Actually, I wasn't, like, checking, checking how much health it had. Uh, nope, it's almost it. And back off that. And reflected a bunch of it, because it was part Earth, I guess. I guess, uh, ice stuff is, usually. And I'll go for a Banish Blast here. Uh, probably not super wise, but got it! No, I didn't got it. I got, the amount of got it was significantly less than it <laughs> first... Scientists may have perceived. Get them right here with this, though. Okay. You act on instinct way too much. Shush, Mikleo. <laughs> I'm busy right now. Decayed paper, yes, okay. The only leaves of paper able to be fused with any other paper, however, its base parameters will never improve. Naturally has shaman, ooh. Which is some people's pronunciation of shaman. So wait, what did the worn out pendulum have? Zephyr, uh, stun time for wind type attacks is plus two seconds, okay. Naturally, stun more stun time is good, but two seconds isn't, uh, if you're going armatized to do like a lot of heavy hits during a stun, then two seconds isn't really enough for too much. Maybe in a, a second Banish Blast, but that's a pretty eclectic situation where you had only uh, two Blast Gauge to do two Banish Blasts, because if you had three, you would have done a Mystic already. Probably. Right, over to the west side then. Um, should be pretty straightforward. Whoa, it doesn't actually look very straightforward. Uh, we were already here in this kind of storeroom, weren't we? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yes, this main kind of room. Uh, we didn't really ever fully explore, I don't believe. And I'm pretty confident we didn't explore this other end here. What be up here? I would be pretty scared for a Norman if they were hanging around this spot. Wow, you look like you're in the middle of something. Perhaps I better just not interrupt that, hell lady. There's a point of interest here, however, though. Do tell us. Uh, yeah, sorry, do I have to be standing right in this specific spot? There we go. <laughs> the crest of Imnominat. Imnominat. The unknown crest. The crest of Maltellus? No, wait. Something's off. It's... This is the crest of Imnominat. Imnominat? Who's that? A rather enigmatic seraph who only comes up in the oldest text. Oh! He was one of the five lords before Maltellus. Oh, well, that's not too mysterious. This is uh, the throne. Do the five lords switch in and out? Everything comes and goes, without exception. Right now, those who worship Maltellus vastly outnumber adherents of the other four lords. Tomorrow, it may be the opposite. I mean, presumably I not, but, but I, I see sense. your point. So this was a shrine to a nominat. It looks like it. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. They're not even gonna stop and <laughs> go analyze it. There'll be time later. Uh, maybe we ought to. Huh? <sighs> no. Moving on. Uh, right. Come on, guys. Yeah. Yes. Maybe we ought to what? Ah, damn it! <laughs> For a second, I thought she was gonna say maybe we ought to take notes in their place just so we can show them later. But no, no, no. We better. We should just go. We should just go. We can geek the hell out about all that stuff uh, when the world is saved and it's not all going to go away. Is this a staircase down? No, this is a bit of broken staircase. So to get on there, we already have to be on the other on the west side. Do I read that correctly? Kind of looks like that, doesn't it? Probably for the best, because I should save in between these anyway. So we've seen a fire, a bit of the fire and uh, wind puzzle. So presumably in the other two towers, there will be a um, a bit where we have to do stealth and a bit where we have to uh, punch some pillars or something. We shall see, shan't we? Right, we actually can't go either way from this here because of that stuff is blocking there. So we got to find a way to there, I guess. Uh, 
Right, so we gotta go all the way to- no, okay, I understand. We go out and then back in through here, and I think this will take us to the floor sort of above, where... Oh, wait, never mind, there's the floor above. Oh, so do we have to go to it from the towers? Wait, then what the heck is this? Oh, just a little treasure room, right, okay, got it. Oh, no, okay, I, you know what? It makes total sense now that I think about it. Right, okay, so which one- so which one do we do, though? Do we uh, do this one or that one? I guess it- it depends which, uh, side we want to end up on. Probably want to go here first, because it seemed like on this side that you were able to get to- uh, I'm not sure. Well, let's just try the one on the left first. That one. God, there's a lot of monsters that just showed up in this one room before it's like an ice set foot in here. Did we already check out this? I'm not sure. Aye, go away. Um, looks like- oh yeah, we must have done. Okay, right, this is that room that I was all like, it looks like it could have been an army or something. Oh, wait a damn second, this is where I just was. Is it? Yes. Oh, okay, I've confused myself dram dramatically then. <laughs> Alright, either way, uh, I guess that's not the way to go, so let's take the path on the right-hand side, or like the- the- southeast corner-ish. I don't actually know what orientation- hang on. Let's take the path from that tower anyway, the one that's right above our heads. Gonna try and lure it over to this side of the path, and then just- yeah, right around the other side. <laughs> Did we already fight this harpy thing yet? I think we didn't. Garuda! It said that Garudas possess godlike levels of mana, and it can totally fly too. So <laughs> watch it. I, Rose isn't looking after the important details of this fight. I see. No one would have noticed that if she hadn't brought it up. <laughs> Ooh, does my does your food effect not run out if you run away from the fight? That would be cool to learn. Right. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. This is the room we haven't been yet. Oh. Oh. This has got to be our our water puzzle. Has it? Maybe. Uh. I'm not sure. No. Never mind. Maybe. Maybe not. No. That would be in the other tower, of course. Uh, let's have a look at what's in here, though. Ooh! Some of this stuff to set on fire! Oh, just a little shortcut through to the other side. Interesting. Uh, cool. I dig it, I dig it. This is not a very well laid out palace, I wouldn't say. I need to have a conversation with some kind of interior deco person, Caliburnus. Dime a dozen, we've seen a billion of those. Does have some nice attack, though. And naturally, a demon. And this one has some nice, uh, incantation skills, but dime a dozen! Why can you only enter- what? <laughs> that would be so inconvenient, just going from one room to the other. You can only enter it from one side of the hallway. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's how rooms are in- well... Usually if you would do that, it would be because there's another room on the other side, but... This is just like someone wanted to be a- a, a twerp and <laughs> just to remove the entrances on one side of each room. Whatever, we can get through here, so it's fine. Now we're back out at- oh, this is not THE balcony, but A balcony. And this little ending doesn't appear to have anything important in it. But, uh, you check anyway, because it's an adventure game! Righty, now this is the same room on the other side. This'll bring us out to the sort of upper floor of the west side of things. I guess then there is kind of an order they want us to go to it, which suggests that they're- they're, they're going to increase in difficulty, the bosses as we go along here. I don't know, again, I, there's no reason- anything that says anywhere that I have to do these, but I really want to. For experience and such. Experience and thorough t thorough tea, thorough tood. Thoroughness, I guess is the word, but it's just such a silly sounding word. Thorough tood sounds so much better. This door seems bigger than other doors we've seen around here, or is it just my imagination? Anyway, thankfully the path is relatively straightforward here. I guess we go in that tower and then down uh, to the rest of the path, which is nice. It's not like there's too much choice here, which is uh, makes it easier anyway. You go away. But up here we should find a. Oh, never mind. I'll just break the one at this end here, just to, to minimize destruction. I think <laughs> that works for me. Oh, um. Oh no. Okay, there is a monster at the top of this tower. Oh, but is there no way down then? Oh no, there sure is. Look at me jumping to all these conclusions before I've even seen the layout. Didn't even look at the map. Are right, you? Oh man, you're new looking. I don't think we've ever seen an enemy that looks like you. Damn it! Very weak to physical and weak to wind. Okay, uh, I've got some skills that should be useful here. I'm gonna swap, uh, Zeridian over Miklio, though. Oh god! Yeah! It's making a very human-sounding grunt. Lightning Tiger Blade and Asura and Edge should both do the thing I'm hoping for here. That was a big slow and sweep the attack, but it didn't actually kill Saray, which is good. Ow! It got Crystal Tower. Also Dragon. I guess I can bear that in mind. Alright, some of those spells are a little wicked. But health is only 11,000, so we should be able to manage this. If we keep up the, uh, the aggressive assault. And hopefully if it doesn't invincibility through everything I do. Oh yes, uh, Dream Slasher would be a good thing here, because it's nice and big. And actually, is Dream Slasher even wind, maybe? Nice reflect whoever that was. Yes, it's totally wind, so actually I can start powering through this. Yeah, yeah, you were, uh, e. This takes a lot of, uh, stamina as the thing. And I haven't used it enough that it, my proficiency is very high with it, so it will continue to take a lot of mana for a while, I reckon. Oh, and it would be good if we can interrupt it from doing too much Crystal Tower. Damn it. 
I wasted a chain blast on that. All right, it's not big enough that they all hit it, so maybe maybe it's better if I just carry on with these other combos I was doing. Nah, it's just it's still doing a little bit of damage. It's, it's that it's big enough for that, I'd say. And we don't know of any healing arts that it's got uh, as of yet. And it's got those big slow stupid attacks. So this should be good. I didn't do a very good job. I mean, I should just start using life bottles and stuff. What the hell is, am I waiting for all this for? That was embarrassing. <laughs> oh, I perfect dodged it, but Saray only had one health. God, I wish there was a retry for these. What's the point of making me run all the way back here? At least we'll be able to put a, a shortcut. You know, actually, I should, what I should probably do is, is do the shortcut first. So that it's easy to get the heck back here uh, to the boss if I keep dying on it. Oh, God, there's more to this uh, over here. Little more. Well, I mean, all there was was just one punch block behind which there is a Viking hat, but there's more. A hat worn by pirates as they raided ships on the high seas. Fiddly to put on, but most get uh, accustomed to it after a few outings. Nice. Bit of both attacks, which is nice, and aqua aqua feather. How's that compared to your current hat? Um, ooh, it's it's slightly more than a bit of both attacks. Nice. And that's how I'm, I try to balance you with most uh, both attacks. So I think that is good for us. And I guess, in a, in a way, um, I bounce you in both uh, defenses, too. All right, try. Bound kick! This should be around the spot where we can burn through that thing that was preventing us from going uh, back. Except, oh, okay, well, there's a bit of treasure here. Let's just go dip over there. This is going to be so not worth it, whatever is in this thing. And a panacea bottle. Which I keep calling panacea. I don't know why. I mean, I guess it's it's not a, an extremely common word, but... <laughs> I remember just looking it up the other day and being like, why the hell did I think it was panacea, of all things? I'm probably gonna call it again at, at some point. Okay, a melon gel. This I don't think I don't think that melon gel deserved this uh, level of guarding, but I guess I'm not any of the ancient five lords or whatever. But oh, there's a bit of rubble there. I thought I had to wind zap that. Oh god! Oh, wait, no, now nah, they're causing the bridge. Uh, it's fine. They're about to despawn. Oh, that one did. I don't know, but not this one. Right, there's that bit there that we can uh, burn to make the shortcut, which is I desperately want to do. Please don't let me do it before I go away. Okay. Fire! Zip. Now we have an easy and quick way back. Ugh. I wonder if the, uh, the Mal- uh, the Mal Dolph, <laughs> the Hell Dolph we fought- fight is gonna be like the one we already fought, or if it's gonna be like, um, like the, the one we fought that one time where, uh, in, uh, Ifrit's Hunting Grounds, or if it's gonna be a bit more, like he's gonna merge with how uh, uh, Mal Talos and become some kind of, like, super ultra mega death god type dealio. I quiver with anticipation, but only- after we take care of this dumb lizard thing. Am it. Oh yeah, if you do the one they're weak to up front, you do like a whole few thousands of damage. And I fatigued it as well. Apparently that's the wind status effect. News to me. That's the real one to be careful of because if you can have three of us. So if we're not all alive, we could, it could party wipe us pretty quickly. <laughs> Way more satisfying it has anywhere to be doing that. And all these uh, spells it keeps casting on us because we get a chance to, uh, well, first of all, that, but also, um, I dodge a lot to get a lot of blast gauge, which means I'll be able to do a whole bunch more chain blasts like this into more Dream Slasher, Dream Slasher, Dream Slasher, into another chain blast, into another Dream Slasher, Dream Slasher, Dream Slasher. I'm gonna tell them to focus attacks, uh, but I don't know if that'll help explicitly. I think it's best to have me alone here so I can interrupt his spell casting and do Dream Slasher and stuff. Okay, it's pretty easy to dodge, but, uh, it just, it, the consequences are severe if you do not. I don't know why I suddenly did 800 damage over there. Lila, that does not help anyone <laughs> doing that from up close. All right, I can pull a bit of a mystic here if I do that. Oh, no, okay. Let me try again. There we go. <laughs> no, it won't do too much. Because it's, uh, our defense is slower than, well, whatever. All right, I can, I'm, I'm fine using items here because this is, it would be silly not to, considering they totally let us and all. And she died immediately. Okay, and that one blocking didn't do anything. God, giving an enemy crystal tower is pretty mean. Because there's nothing I can do to make my, my friends not die from it. Because you can't reliably interrupt casting on this difficulty. Even if you do the thing they ask you to. You know what I'm gonna try something? I'm gonna try making a quick save right before the boss. I don't know if that will work or if quick saves are like a one-time load kind of dealio. I gather there's something about if you do a skill, the same skill over and over, then like, uh, it stuns them for less time or something like that. So I, I think that may be part of the reason that they are doing Dream Slash over like that. Um, like eventually they dr it drops the combo, but I just pressed the Mist Martial Art button to interrupt that, and she just stood there. It's still lots of damage uh, to the point where I think it's still worth doing, uh, even though it puts me at massive risk because I think I just stop the combo and uh, can carry, carry on fighting. Probably should have done that Mystic with someone that wasn't water. <laughs> Damn it! That was a massive waste of Blast Gauge. Like there. 
if they got armor, so I wasn't able to uh, interrupt their casting. And now it won't let me pause to swap to you. I'm gonna barely be able to do this in time. God, that was annoying. <laughs> I'm doing melee, I'm doing martial, I'm doing martial, I'm doing martial to interrupt your casting. Like, you just can't. Because <laughs> there's no way to be absolutely sure of the exact frame at which it will do it. Oh, no, okay. No, if this is the last episode, which I'm, t I'm trying to make it happen, then this is not the time for me to be raging even over things that are perfectly viable to rage about like that. <laughs> we have to be serene going into this last fight. Can this be our last memory of it? I don't think so. Our last memory must be only good things. Not me complaining about perfectly reasonable things to complain about. Which is what I'm doing, obviously. Oh, God. Oh, it's got a fire-breathing weapon. What? What even hit me just then? What was that? <laughs> we're pretty close now. It's a little tedious and time-consuming, but we're getting close. Oh, that's new. Oh, fun. I hate it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> we do a bit of boat double elixir here. One on them and one on us. And then split up again, so we're all healed. Oh, nice. Uh, reflect there, whoever. Nice reflect on that, uh, Zabid. At least that, uh, that big skill, not only does he have a high chance to reflect a lot of it. Okay, well, he reflected one anyway. Uh, but it's slow enough that I could probably interrupt it if I weren't so dumb. But 4,000 health left. Uh, I can do this. Two, three, chain blast that. One, two, three, chain blast that. One, yeah. Okay. Mangled umbrella, but an imbued orb as well and some bunch of experience. Sweet, okay. Thank you for health maintaining. Naturally, it's Warlock. The only umbrella able to be fused with any other umbrella. However, its space parameters will never improve. Roger that. Just one more big monster, and then uh, sensibly to the final battle. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I've never been more ready. I probably would be more ready if I leveled up like a few more times, but whatever. I mean, that that's that's I finished the preparation. That's not to say that we need that. Chamomile, thank you. Ding. Let's hope this last one isn't the toughest of all of them. <laughs> now we just gotta find a way up there. Right, okay, so it looks like um you go from that tower to the the star here, which is Artorius' throne. So I'm guessing that we, we enter it from the bottom here, because you, you would go at the top and then to the end. Not, you wouldn't just suddenly show up at the end somehow. So this one's gonna have the water trial in it, so how do we get there from this sort of bottom floor? Uh, looks like we have to get to... I guess come out of the castle? So do we go in, in that way? I'm not sure, let me have a look. I don't even remember what was in here, I'm not sure, maybe we didn't go in here. Uh, yeah, this doesn't look familiar. We, because we came at it from a different angle, we came in from the, the top of that other tower. The one we were just in. Uh, right, so we would never have been in this big room here. All right, okay, this is back to that sort of center room. Before we go up there, let's just check if there's any fun treasure lying around these pillars right in the back air. Oh, or maybe not. Sorry, my my explorer's curiosity must not be, be ignored at this moment in time. Except I probably should have ignored it. I'm hiding on this side of the pillar. They'll never find me here. Oh my god, they totally found me here. What the hell? <laughs> I'm going to this side of the pillar then. They'll never find me here. <laughs> ah! They're so good at finding things! Oh, Alright, I can block a bit of this for a bit, it's fine. They just gave up. That's what they're- Alright! Let's get out of here! Still no sign of him or his traps? The wait is almost the worst thing. I'm sure he's at the end. I'm starting to feel very uneasy about this. Hey, didn't I tell us to keep our chins up? Doesn't do any good to speculate. You're right. Hmm. I mean, if Simone had no idea we were gonna kill that dragon, then I, I guess there's a chance that Hell of this wasn't what he expected us to do, but uh... Somehow I feel like he's got slightly more guile or something than she does. There's a point of interest here that I'm very interested in, but first a Norman! Invalida. Oh, dope, there are Norman hanging around here. That's cool. Let's put Invalida on... Oh, I don't know. Ooh, we could put it on one of the things we've currently got. Why don't we give it to something... It's a Ed Edna's Aqua Disruptor here. Interrupter here. That's good. Run! Thank you. Run! Oh god. Okay, that was close. Uh, is this like... What is about that? What is this, anyway? A horde of ritual swords. Oh, I see. Skit? Serene. Relics of the Shepherds, I think it was called. Ritual swords. Yeah. Looks like this place had something to do with shepherds after all. There used to be a great many shepherds. If only some of them were still walking Yeah, one extra party member would be awesome. <laughs> but history is history, and it's put us here now. You, me, everyone. Right you are. True enough. And don't forget, every moment we live is also part of history. Unless we fail, and then the world is destroyed, and then history <laughs> as, as a concept doesn't exist anymore. Future selves. Yes. yes. After all. The future's filled with jerks like me who hold the past to an impossible standard. Ha! <laughs> Criticize this, you jerks! <laughs> ah! Can't even enjoy a slight, peaceable moment of brotherly love and com bonding and camaraderie without a heckin' voided eye coming after you. Ah! Oh, 
Gosh. So then surely up here will bring us out to that final tower. Uh, yes, because this is, yeah, okay, gotta do. Here it is. First, let me zip up here for whatever is up here. Is it just treasure? Yes. It could be something interesting this time, you never know. It might just be another gel or something, but... There's always the distinct chance if it's like... Oh, I'm predicting it's an hourglass. Oh, Maran's glass, hey, heck yeah. No, we definitely want that. That's exactly the thing I want for the last fight. That was extremely worth going for. That snack plus our, um, our Mobo curry thing and then plus all the phoenixes we naturally have. We're gonna be resurrecting all over the shop. Ooh, there's a chest in there, actually. Now that I look. But I despawned that one, haha, <laughs> by slamming them into the door. <laughs> Smooth. Sure hope this is edible. I think it'll be alright. I mean, how much time do you have left in your life to eat snacks, Ray? Right? It's okay, you're probably not even gonna get to that one. Okay, something interesting to do with water here. There's a little pond. Is there gonna be a little stealthy... You know, I guess this will take us back here if we fail whatever stealth bit is in this room. Definitely, right? Ah, uh, yes, there's an eye there. What about on this side? I don't see one. What about the way at the end? No? Is it just the one eye, then? Okay, cool. Just to, just to make sure you were paying attention during that bit. Got it, got it. Roll cake, yummers. I'm, I'm assuming it would bring you back out to this little uh, pond here if you had failed that. Right, so this way will bring us to what is, seems to be the last fight, but I wanted to go take on this uh, <laughs> second to last fight before, damn it! At least it's just here and not, you know, like the very cent beginning of the dungeon. Yes, a little, just last little bit of XP and whatever the kind of weapon broken down thing we'll get from this. And then I'll be more than happy. More than happy, I tell ya, to charge along here. Oh shit, I didn't even say because I, it didn't spawn in yet, that's not fair. Alright, dinosaur, cool. Uh, weak to earth, cool, got it. It's got spells, but why? Oh god, is that an attack there it's doing? Yes, it sure is. What do my things do, earth, by the way? Uh, used to be that sleeping dragon- oh, burrowing dragon does still, that's good. Is it just about, about to spin? Oh god, it's got a spinny attack like, uh, Aizen did. That's not cool. Actually, it's, its attacks are all like Aizen's. Maybe the same strategy will work then. Maybe I'll just pull a bit of a Mystic, though, uh, with these, with this, these, this bunch here. Oh, well, I guess it, if it's not really staggering, then that doesn't fly, does it? Yeah. Damn it, Mikhail died already, but I would have wanted him for this. Oh, yes, we've given it Burn, the thing that can't stagger. How, how wise of us. Thanks, Edna. Okay, I'm gonna swap to Mikhail and try and bring Saray up and, uh, pull the same strat I did, uh, when, uh, we fought Aizen, because it's, all you know, the attacks patterns are the same. Uh, so it's Dragon, uh, we've got, um, that whole Six Falling Stars thing. Does it resist water? Ah, damn it. Well, it's not like we're staggering it anyway, I guess. And this here is Ice, which means we have a chance to reflect part of it, uh, with, uh, Amber. Anytime it does that spinny tail thing, we have a chance to reflect that. Or any melee attack, really, we can reflect that maybe with Saray's Ebonus. But for now, it seems like Patience is the game. Hopefully I get some kind of cool earth spell later on that will be easy to, uh, respond to. But until then, just pepper on the hits. Do you have any earth ones? Uh, yes. Why don't you just turn off all your spells except for, uh, Geostigma and Horizon Storm, and hopefully I remember to turn them back on when this fight is over. In, like, four hours or whatever. <laughs> there we go, that's the stuff to beat. Oh, we stunned it. Uh, I guess I'll pull a bit of this. That was dumb because, oh, well, I did a bit of damage. Nice reflect. Much like Aizen, it also can't turn around, which is fortunate in many ways. Damn, man, it's got 100,000 health left, and I do 500 with each hit. <laughs> I, that count equates to 200 more six falling stars. So I guess 1,200 six <laughs> or falling stars in the end. That is, of course, uh, if we don't get some more nice reflects. Wow, I've suddenly gotten a lot worse at dodging that, but at least make those art defense carries. Yeah, if it was going to be so bad at attacking us, I wish it just had like slightly less health so this wouldn't take forever. It's almost below with the 100,000 health. <laughs> it still can't hit us, though. <laughs> oh, look, it hit us for 2,000 damage. No, I said I wasn't complaining. This is, this is, this is supposed to be our, our, our blaze of glory. Heck yeah, we're doing the right thing and we're gonna feel righteous and proud about it moment. Not our complaining about minute flaws in game design now. Or what I perceive as flaws, anyway. All according to taste, naturally. Oh, it was doing 500 before because of its low art defense. It's it's now only doing like 300. The dinosaurs were dragons that ruled the world eons and eons ago. But in their hubris, they invoked a terrible curse of ice, which proved to be their destruction. Is that what happened? <laughs> Somehow that doesn't sound right to me. Okay, so there's amazingly low defense here, but... Rose wasn't even doing that much damage, so I'm not I still feel like this is kind of the better way. It's about to do a tailspin, which will probably kill Zavid, because I didn't do anything to stop it. I should have played as him and blocked it or something, but I just didn't want to risk that they would uh, mess up my 
the, the team I actually need, which is these two. Two ha ha weak no <laughs> My thoughts exactly. <laughs> nice reflect me. It's down to seventy eight thousand. We are roaring along at a blazing speed. For some reason it stopped doing its little tail wag thing and now only just keeps roaring instead of that attack, so it hasn't killed it no yet, which is nice. Now these two are up, because once again, it cannot turn around. <laughs> oh, it's finally doing the tailspin again. It was a long time without you, though. Oh god, I can do a Mystic here fight. Oh, it wouldn't... Okay, fine. That would have been so much damage, but it's okay. Forgive me for not being ready for it to do a stun after like 20 minutes straight of this. <laughs> oh, Maelstrom! Oh, fun! Uh, I hate that. Uh, thanks. I hate it. Why can you do that so quickly? And what dodge is it appropriate for this? I, I, this is not cool at all. Especially since I know that thing has a, a capability to do one shot, whatever that is. I assume it's exactly what it sounds like, but I don't know. I guess it'd be a back dodge, but I don't understand how any dodge would be appropriate. Uh, okay, at least it doesn't one shot us immediately with uh, Mikla's really good dark defense. Now I've got tons of blast gauge saved up for elixirs, but God, why would you pull that out on me? And please, can one of those Ebonists sometime around now? <laughs> I'm gonna try back dodging? Okay, it did one, but like, you can't do it multiple times in a row. Got it. So you just gotta run? Or, I guess, but uh... How do I run out of the... Like, there's no way to get out of the way of that. What? <laughs> you can't run, like, because your free run isn't that fast. Okay, you can dodge- you can- if you spam dodge, you can some- it sometimes works a little, but... I don't like the look of that at all. It feels like that's a way I'll die by mistake somehow. Well, obviously not die on purpose. Well, I know which of the four fights on the top of these towers is my least favorite. <laughs> Almost got the whole thing. Nice one, Lila. No, I'm not ready. Oh god, thank god it was him. Sorry, Zavid. <laughs> I guess I could just block it. That's probably smarter, isn't it? It certainly beats getting hit by every single strike of it after failing a dodge. Yeah, that's substantially better, especially with my good uh, healing on block. Not that I kept all of it from uh, the Zavidan Rose fight, but I did- uh, there's a bit of it. Ow, 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 ow. Very lucky Zemiklo can hold so much Blast Gauge. Ow, 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 ow. Almost below 10,000 health. Ow, 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 ow. That's getting slightly more frequent and I keep getting hit by it. Why can't a dinosaur cause a Maelstrom, pray tell? <laughs> 7,000 damage left, okay. We're very close. Keep blocking these. Damn it, sorry, he got caught in that. Okay, obviously for the for this last battle, my priority is that uh, Rose be as, as strong as possible, so I'm gonna try and pick her up right before we beat this. Of course, if I reflect something out of the blue, then I won't really have much of a choice. But I gotta resurrect her at just the right time that her AI won't immediately go run and die. Okay, I'm gonna have Edna do it now, because I think we're right about to take it down. Oh, she's about to cast her whole spell, though, so I'll wait for that. Way to get killed, thanks. Alright, almost got it. Don't die, Rose. Oh, thank god. Whew. Didn't give her a level in the end, but lots of XP. It was not easy, guys. It was 24 minutes of dragging on. Oh well, it's good XP anyway. Jeepers. Time to hide. That works with me. I don't even want to say it, but I'm like, I just had the thought like, what are my computer blue screens right now? I'll be so miffed. You wouldn't follow me through a door. Right, with that, I think, I think we gotta, we gotta charge up here, see what we can do, hey? Rosemary, perfect timing. Ding. And oh right, did Carpets have a name? Look, but it gives you Mystic, which is reduced casting time, which is dope. Especially if I were to give it to you, uh, and then armatize, Because I expect that reduces the casting time of, uh, your, the whole, like, he special healing art that all, um, uh, Mystic Sked as well, which in that case is Elixir Vite, which would be really, really dope. Alright, alright, alright! I'm ready, I'm ready. We're charging in here. Hopefully we can get this done in a timely and considerate manner. Right, so it should be that out this way, this is the wrong tower, isn't it? It was the water tower I was supposed to be in. How do we get there? I think maybe it is this way, actually. I already forgot how to get there. No, 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 it isn't. It's down there. I'm dumb. I just pulled some WarioWare smooth moves just then. I love the way that, that ghosty thing is designed. Where it's just like this faded- That's not the door! <laughs> faded blue, but it's still so sharp. Alrighty, this is the door I meant. <laughs> this way, and this should bring us a little windy path over to Oibs. Path to Oibs, yes, but also a path to that big star. Which has got to be something important. Here are McLeo. Oh yeah, this looks important, doesn't it? Well done making donuts, Edna. I'll try and pull a quick save just before- ah, I got stuck on a crack. Uh, a quick save just before we head actually in there. Uh, just in case we, we find that like there are- 
either, I'm like way under leveled or something ridiculous like that, but which I don't expect to find. Um, there is a little bit of road way out of that way. Oh, there's a save here. Spectacular. Never mind then about quick saving. And a little teleport to do. No, guys! The teleport and the save! Oh, I'm sure they're just gonna be like, this is it, the final thing. <laughs> hey, Savid. Didn't you say before that you had a score to settle? Yeah, what did you mean by that? Yeah, just about this whole Age of Chaos like thing? I won't have to kill him. You don't think? The fact that you met Saray opened new possibilities for you, didn't it? Yes, my fated meeting. Too no. bad my destiny was a face. shepherd, not a pair of hot twins. Are you dumb? Oh. <laughs> Seriously, to kill one of the five lords, even to think that you could kill them is ridiculous. Well, you never know what'll happen until you try. Hey, he's got a point. We've done some stuff we didn't think we'd be able to do. You've stuck with it the whole way through. I'm actually impressed. Why, thank you, Rosie. Care to sign a pact and be my vessel? Too far. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Zavid. Hmm? It makes me really happy that by meeting each other, you found a way to save yourself. Yeah, and that you said it, too. I swear, you're the corniest guy alive. You gotta stop being such a softy. Uh, no thanks. That's what's brought me this you far. <laughs> I know, I know. Right. Did my gun change color since when? <laughs> why? Because I got a new outfit? I mean, that's kind of cool, but why? <laughs> Sweet. Got Shepard's outfit determination. Say what? Oh, it's just with the music, I guess. Right, okay. So it'll have the music for this dun final dungeon if I wanted that to play outside of here. Which I don't! There's gotta be a Norman or something hanging around. Why, why would this little bit be here otherwise? You genuinely can't be serious. D there's no Norman here? Oh, I feel so betrayed. In front of the highest stairs, at the heart of malevolence. The heart of malevolence. Is <laughs> it defies all reason. It is pretty wild. The amount of malevolence must be behind this warp scenery. And so that's why the landscape here is so out of this world. If there is a hell, I wonder if it's like this. Nah, I think this is kind of too pretty for hell. Who's actually been to it? I told you. What do you mean? Tell you all about it when I see it, ladies. And I have a feeling I won't be waiting long. Glad to see everyone still got the energy to joke around. Yeah, right? joking about us They're dying, but still a joke, I guess. Sure. I don't think you guys can be the ones to say that. Oh yeah? Well then, how about a guy like me? Very reassuring. Yeah, really. Hmm. What did you mean you've been there yourself? But Rose was the last one who spoke at that point. <laughs> anyway, it's Edna. I gotta learn that she's just gonna say whatever she comes to her head, regardless of whether it <laughs> makes sense to the audience. Right, okay, so fill up on all these, um, what kind of snack are we wanting for the end here? I'm I'm guessing that the fight triggers more or less once we hit up these, the highest stairs, so, uh... Let's put on our Marron's Glacé now, but I, I've done it after the save in case I'm totally wrong and there are more fights and then I waste this thing. <laughs> Ding! And it regenerates everyone's, uh, SE to max! What could make us more ready than that? Oh god, there's more. <laughs> no, okay, it seems like there aren't any monsters hanging around here, though, it's just- Oh, yep, this sure is that shrine where all that stuff happened. Rose, this is it! The final battle! Call it with the dramatic build-up, alright? You and me are gonna get through this, just like every other time before. You hear me? I believe that you believe that. <laughs> I don't know whether my skill level will, get, will, will follow through on your answer, Rose, but... Hey, well, I made a snack gone wrong. Does that... does that... I mean, that should alleviate any concerns I had and anyone else was having. What if there was a Norman right around here? Yeah, this sure is Matalus' shrine. This is exactly like it was in the picture. They didn't make it sound like it was in this big kind of fortress. Yeah. Saray, no matter what, all of us are here behind you. But what if you're in front of me? Never forget that. Okay, got it. So, there you have it. So, there you have it. Don't anyone else say it. Let's kick some ass. Okay, there we go. That's much better than so there you have it. <laughs> Time to bring an end to all of this. Yes, please. About time. Let's go. Whew. The two of them haven't once mentioned their grants ever since we entered Camelot. Yeah, I mean, we gotta. At this point, we just gotta Perhaps charge ahead. They mean to show him that it won't do him any good to bring harm to Zenris. Ah, uh, right. They're trying to not let know. him get in their to head. Me, like they're just scared. Like they're afraid to acknowledge their weakness. It could be both, right? If they acknowledge it, then then he then Heldolf can see it too, right? Whoa! Tension, 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 tension. I mean, at least he won't be as hard as the Dark Toidles, surely. Oh God, there are more rooms. Oh, it's just one. Settle the score with Heldolf. Oh, a big marble. Oh God. Surely the roof is gonna smash off at some point, right? 
Oh, there he be! What he be doing over there by that door? Hi, it's us! <laughs> You're old friends. Saray and then them. It's time to settle this. Let's go! A world where all who live know pain. It is indisputable that every creature yearns to be liberated from this senseless suffering. By turning and being turned into a monster that only suffers for all of time. <laughs> Yes, this is a great idea. <laughs> it may be that the world you strive for would free us all from suffering and anguish. But also individuality but and, you know, life. I still don't think <laughs> it's the right solution. We don't want to avert our eyes from pain. Only in knowing hardship can we celebrate and feel enlivened in the good times. That's right. We want to be able to feel that we're alive. The and now Edna says something. Oh, no. <laughs> fighting against suffering. Surely you don't think the world should consider that a blessing. No, it's sort of the minimum. I'm not saying it's a bad thing to run away from it. Just that we don't plan to do that. I merely speak of the laws of nature. You mean to live <laughs> what? to obey the laws of nature? What else would it be? You're wrong. All that is, is not being dead. You, of all people. Ought to know just how painful that can be. Let me ask you one more time, Shepherd Saray. Join me. Answer is still no, but Never. I appreciate the repeat of the invitation. Of Makes you sound really not Shepherd. desperate at all. So they are this world's light and dark. I mean, I you only tried the one way of the us joining you. You could always join us. All right. Okay, good. Held off unknown resistance, uh, physical, but, uh, and not weak to earth anymore, but that's not so bad. One resistance. Watch out. Any one of his attacks can be lethal. We can do this if we work together. Everyone help out and assist each other's combos. Don't use all your power at once, or you'll have nothing left for emergencies. But use enough not to die. Crap, this is hard. <laughs> Great. Uh, not tons of physical defense. Cool. And category unknown, so naturally the no power hit's coming. Okay, I kind of figured it would be like that. Right, working on it. 100,000 health isn't that bad. As long as I'm pulling lots of elemental stuff because my uh, physical stuff won't uh, do anything. I mean, it's not like I can start a power hit combo for which, uh... Oh, I shouldn't have jumped on the other side where the attack was going. I shouldn't... I can't start a power hit combo and then just do my physical stuff because there are no power hit combos. So I just gotta, um... Uh, do all as much elemental stuff as possible, basically. Where does this spark come from? Hope and or... Uh, well, I mean, he, he should, but, like, not right now, anyway. Alright, this attack is, is not too, uh, vi violent. I just keep- I gotta not run into it like a moron. Okay, and if I armatize right now, I can actually pull a Mystic. If I don't die immediately. Here we go! Oh, you shwonk! Wonk! It seems like this has got to be just a phase one. This is uh, a little too gentle at the moment. Surely he's going to pull out some kind of super motelis blasto power <laughs> before the end. Get resistance to all elements and something ridiculous. And then Zenrals will come to save us or whatever. <laughs> no, no, no. Not think about that now. Just focus. He's reasonably reasonably shakeable. He's not just sort of tanking through everything, which is nice. And I'm going to split up and uh, carry on this by myself and do a bit of a chain blast and then dream slash the heck out of this. Yes, good, okay. Don't get me wrong, I would be totally pleased if this was was the last fight right here, but uh, see, it's seeming pretty unlikely, considering how, how quickly this is going along. Oh, why am I doing my physical ones? I should be doing lots more hidden arcs. Like this one. And Lightning Tiger Blade, which is super nice and like sort of slow and sort of carries him along while the, my friends get to, a chance to carry on their attacks. Yep, I'm, you're not gonna hit me over there. I'm not there anymore. <laughs> That's my dream. That's an Earth one, so uh, it works well enough. Oh, no, 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 hang on. Whoa, whoa, you don't want to do that. Oh, you completely missed. That's fine. Okay, here comes something new. Ruh -ruh. But of course, no matter how strong you get, you cannot abandon the one who raised you. Oh, uh oh. What have you. What did you do with Zenris? What is going on here? Oh, you're just putting his face on your hand. You said you wouldn't give in to darkness. Then what is it you feel this very moment? Love for my father? <laughs> Saray! 
Um, Lila, large owl. Him, we can save Gramps, right? Lila. Just, just to do something. Use the gun. I don't know. The pain of hurting one's beloved children. Hell doll. Go on, save him if you can. Oh sure. I mean, I was gonna try anyway. Okay, good. Gosh. I doubt he's got any new skills. Yeah, just just we could do the faster we set him on fire. Ow. You know what? I could use enough of your sass right now. It literally is using Anaris as a hostage, though. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's more or less what it is. Right, you have to shoot one of them at him. Uh, let's just uh, keep trying to find him this way for now, and then maybe we'll use that gun thing in the end. So far, they haven't, uh, like, taught me I, I, how to use it exactly, so I, I'm guessing I don't, like, uh, I can't manually use it right about now. Concentration, what does that do? Give him some kind of buff? Doesn't say anything here. Ah, God, it makes bads appear. I don't like that at all. Go away. Oh, God, they both died. That's not fun. Okay, Crown Fire will take these uh, armor things out in no time, so... Oh, this is coming after me, whatever it is. No, it isn't. God, why do you get to just make... Oh, this is gonna be like just like Simone, where... The boss itself isn't actually that bad, and then they just like... They make a billion things... Oh, great. Great. I love it. I hate it, actually, by the way. <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. It won't let me pause. Oh, my God. Play Mass uh, Blast. Get you back up. Mass Blast? Max Blast is what I meant to say. Okay, um... Is there a way to stop him from making new Hellions? I don't know. Uh... That didn't do anything. Okay. You disappoint me with your boss fight that's just like, by the way, there are four people on the field now. It better be a checkpoint. <laughs> Otherwise, my disappointment in you will grow. Okay, there we go. All right, I think the thing to do is uh, just try and interrupt him anytime he does con concentration. So probably uh, I'll let my friends deal with uh, the, the extra monsters, I guess. Oh, I don't know how to stop him. Did I stop him? Did I do it right? Okay, I think I did. I can stop him from doing it. Okay. Don't do that. Kind of like how Medusa was trying to summon in her fight way back in that time. All right, okay, at least they give you that option. No, no, no. It just means putting yourself at risk because you have to be close to him to do that, basically, which means being able to hit, be hit by a lot of his other stuff. Okay, I'm fine with that then. I, I, re I retract my earlier uh, whiny complaint. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like Simone where you didn't really have a choice. Ow, 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 ow. They're kind of taking it as a given that um, if you try and fire... Uh, oh, I got to watch out for that one because it's an uh, all-around attack. If you tried to fire your friends at um, him for the to sever the bond, then you would just die. Which I don't think is... Oh, they are going to actually like for me. I was about to make them do it. <laughs> um, and I don't think they ever actually really confirmed that that was like the only way that could go, but I guess it's like you don't want to risk it. You don't want to risk it, right? Better just try and keep locked down so there's no more uh, spawnings of enemies. Oh, that was that one. I didn't realize that was what that was. Hang on, Zenris. No. I know! Well, that's presumptuous that it was really us. Alright, I did like one get spawned, but I'm, I'm caught it, I've caught it in the Synchron Fire. I'm catching him, so it'll be gone in a minute here. I'm gonna try and charge one here, but hopefully he doesn't do concentration right now. Oh, that was the worst time! Oh, god. Okay, at least it didn't actually get it out. Uh, I'm gonna try again. Ah, I really screwed that up. Oh, he's got a Mystic! Okay, he killed a... He killed Rose and Lila with that one, and then immediately gets to Mystic the other two. So there, that's what, I hate that. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna uh, uh, carry on with these two then, even though I almost got a Mystic out as uh, Rose and Lila, that would've been so cool. Oh, we can't stagger that anymore. Oh, we can. It just decided not to the one time for reasons. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna try and pull him, uh, this, and I'm carry on with uh, Mikhail's Armatus here. This is doing well enough. Ah, finally a reflect. That's like the first time I've seen. No, 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 no. You don't get to do that. I don't want any more enemies showing up. That makes it so annoying. Conform? Is that what you just said? <laughs> or no, come forth, I guess. Probably makes more sense. Like I said, the damage up. Oh, never mind. He got invincibility for that one. That's fine, I guess. And I messed up that. Who is he missing on? I don't even know who he did that on. 
Hellfire release. Ah, ooh, ow, ow, ooh. I didn't, I wasn't fond of a lot of the things you're doing, my friend. Okay, they're over there fighting that. I, I, if they're tight, got that tied down, I trust them well enough. I can just keep doing this. I've almost got a, I'm, I'm doing the one that does stuns. So that could be a thing that happens. I'm gonna try for Mystic here, but I think it maybe doesn't work for this one very well. Uh, okay, I made it stupid. I should never have done that, what I just did. No, don't do that. Oh, we got to do, bring out a Beastmaster. That's not fun. For anyone. Okay, the, the, at least his enemies are kind of dumb, so I can just keep firing out him and hopefully my friends will be in, up in a minute. Okay, uh, they just brought um, uh, Rose and Lila back up, so I'm gonna try and play as them. Hopefully he comes as me, thank you. If I can get Crown Fire out here, nice reflect whoever. Then I can hit a few of the monsters and hopefully held off in a second here. He's just gonna walk right into it, look at him. I can't believe he did that. Help I release, I gotta be out of the way for it. Oh my god, or it'll just kill me anyway. Holy crap, what was that? And I'm gonna I'm gonna prefer to armatize as these two here, so I'm gonna try and bring Zuray up. Okay, um There's only one monster left and it's uh, pretty weakened. So if I just keep uh, up the pressure with uh, arrows here, that monster will be gone and then it'll just be held off again. That's good. I'm gonna cleanse myself. Uh, he's missing Zavid, I guess, which uh, it was it's a bit of a shame because he could be he was about to bring up um, uh, Rose, but that's fine, and I could probably do it. Yeah, he's going after her because he's, you know, a little uh, tunnel visioned and not super bright. Ah, <laughs> oh, the hitbox for that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. You just gotta like run straight like ten meters to the right or left. Don't don't concentration. I need you to not concentrate as hard as- I need you to lose all focus bonds immediately. I'm gonna try a bit of this arrow of a squall. And it didn't help at all. I should never try new things. Okay, I think I still caught it before this, the summon happened. No, no, no! Ah, I'm stupid and he gets to mystic me now. Not my favorite, but I can armatize right again before he's about to do it again. And I can spirit cleanse myself uh, if I feel. There's no way to get. <laughs> okay, it's fine. That's fair. God, that's such a stupid move. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No complaints. No complaints. No complaints. It's totally. It's 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 very. It's not not definitely not the least fair boss fight we've had so far. Oh, I can do a banish blast on uh, this one, which will hit him if I do that. And then I did I stun. Well, I stun this one, and I can do a banish blast there, which will hit Held off as well. Oh my God, that was a lot of damage. I just did on Held off by. Hitting his friends with uh, <laughs> banish blasts. Oh god, he got, actually got that spine. Okay, this one. Oh god, okay. You have to like just mash. Le okay, it's just it's just so annoying and weird. Okay, I'm gonna carry on as just Rose here for a bit. Uh, it's a little easier to stagger him this way, even though I'm not doing quite as much damage as I was Lila, because Lila is dead. Ow. No, I can't get away from this now. I I oh, that's a frustrating move. That's what it is. It's not unfair. It's just frustrating. I can interrupt you from it, though, if I... or not. And... Game of the year. It's not an unfair move, it's just a frustrating one. <laughs> that worked before. <laughs> Weakling! Weak! <laughs> it's okay, that, 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 that fire one, it, it's annoying me, but it's not actually unfair. It's, it's, it's just... You have to react really quick to it and pull, like, one sideway dodge and then one backwards dodge, because it... Its hitbox is like everywhere in front of it and then like 20 feet behind into the side of it. I guess you could also side dodge it like that. Gotta be doing hidden art to interrupt his hidden art. Except for that time when it did nothing. Oh god. It's a confusing box anyway, I'll, I'll say that. I love please armatize with her. Oh thank god. Um, and now I think I'll swap to them and pull a crown fire to get all these enemies gone. Is this one of the best ways to do so? being, you know, like the best skill in the game, basically. No, don't do another one. I'm just getting rid of these ones. <laughs> I gotta get away from this. Oh, thank God someone interrupted him. What? <laughs> oh, right, because there's a stupid rule where he gets to just, uh, enemies get to Mystic. They don't have to do, even do an attack. As long as you're still in hit stun from an attack, even if you interrupt them, they get to just Mystic anyway. <laughs> Which is just such garbage, because that means you can be literally comboing them, and they can pull a Mystic art on you. Don't you mean, don't! I just said don't! And you did it anyway. Hell, this is what happens, Heldolf. I tell you not to do something, you do it anyway. Crown fire. I can't believe I dodged that just then. No! Oh, thank god. Thank you, Edna. Oh, or, okay. The, the rules on whether or not that staggers, there aren't any. <laughs> but then I've complained about that already. Oh, um... I want to do a mystic so bad, but... 
there's nothing. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm gonna swap back to these two. I think these they have the better armatus for this bit, I think. No, 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 no. Oh, right. I, I should turn your uh, arse back on, hey? No, no, get away. Did that hit us too? We were so far away though. <laughs> I can't believe that. Did we slow him? Oh, I was wondering why he was walking so damn slow. If he gets some kind of regeneration move, I'm gonna be so miffed. Nice job, Rose. I think Karmic Stance is a parry, and like if you uh, uh, hit him while he's doing that, that's when those whirlwinds appear. Okay, gotta get all the way away from that, because that hitbox is my scare is my least favorite thing on planet Earth. Okay, if I get hit by anything here, you can pull a Mystic, so we gotta be very careful not to get hit before any of our friends are around. Edna's almost back up. Get all the way away from that. Nice job, you two. I'm gonna swap to them, actually. Because they're gonna go be going close, and so they're at, at a higher risk here. And get all the way away from that! Ah! Alright, at least it didn't hit everyone. He's doing it again. Uh, he's doing that to speak slow one, so I'm gonna heal myself. You combo into more attacks. <laughs> he's blocking, is he? <laughs> Lila's almost back. In which case, I'll probably swap to them pretty quickly again. Yes. So that uh, I can uh, play the melee game, because I'm I'm slightly better than the AI. No shade. <laughs> I, I, I emphasize slightly. But current, current fire here is going well. No, guys, you should probably stay armatized and done at range so that you don't all die. What is that? Oh, that's not cool. I don't like that you did that at all. Okay, Hellfire Release would have killed me there if they hadn't interrupted. I gotta remember my hidden arts as this, uh, armatized. I interrupt a lot of stuff. That, there goes Saray. I'm hoping he's missing out on Saray and not the rest of us because we weren't hit by that. Okay, good. I can uh, interrupt you with some stuff with Rain of Fire, which is good. Good job healing yourself, Mikleo. And that as well was also good stuff. If I release, I can just back up from this. Oh, but you get to combo it. Divine Laser, my favorite. Oh, that's that's new. Oh, gosh. Thanks for elixiring. I'm glad I set them to de finally de to defend because now they're finally uh, actually healing with that thing. Way back in whatever episode that is that I did that. Okay, I can just get behind that Divine Laser thing. That's good. But I bet it like totally wrecks me if I get hit by it. Lion's Howl! Ah, but why? I don't like that at all. Not one bit. Oh, I know, right. You can't go to the side to dodge this unless you actually get a perfect side dodge. Which I did on a, by a fluke there, but uh, you have to get you have to go back up to or or to this like the, the way you dodge that move is weird anyway. That's not gonna hit anyone from there. Get to rain of, rain of firing from here. Oh right, I could do a mystic here with a uh, crown fire if I charge it fully like this. Okay. A yonk and a yonk. That's a few thousand damage. Gets down to like fifteen thousand. Good. Almost gone here. Just don't make any stupid mistakes now. And we'll see whatever nonsense comes after. <laughs> Mr. King uh, Mikleo. True Lion's Howl. Unfortunate, but it happened. I'll bring Edna in here now, I think. Have some Newland, great. Two strong uh, melee combatants we have now. For these last 12,000. And Hellfire Release. Okay, they interrupted it, thankfully. I'm gonna do a bit of this combo. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I did miss. Oh, I messed it up so hard. I went to go for the divine blast, and then now I'm gonna die from that. Oh, thank God I survived. Back up all the way, and then follow it up with Lion's Howl. Okay, good. Um. Okay, I, I totally screwed that one. Oh, the he's got burn on. Oh, it didn't last very long. God, I, uh, even for burn. Ow. Okay, thankfully that uh, divine blast that Zavi did as he got up uh, totally staggered him. Good. Uh, gonna get all the way out of the way of that. He's mysticking, um, uh, Saray, I believe. 84,000 damage. Seems reasonable. <laughs> I'm gonna swap Mikleo in here. Because I'm a little better with this one than I am with, um, Elxidea, or whatever it is there. It's called 5,000 damage left. We can totally manage this. Man, I got two stuns on him that I just totally did not, uh, capitalize on at all. I can bring Edna back in now. She said I have a chance to heal a little bit. Actually, I should swap to the melee one since, uh... Uh, that one's uh, more at risk. Okay, 3,000 damage. Should be good, and then we have to see what nonsense comes after. Divine Laser! Ah. I'm gonna go for a blast here. It's probably an idea, a mistake. Yeah, it was silly. But I, it was it looked kind of cool for a half a second before I died. Please bring Saray up in a moment. Nicely done. And then I'll stun him for this, so I can do a pull into this, and then a bit of that. 400 damage. I can do that much. Yonk! 
What next? I won't ask you to understand or ask you not to hate me. She's gonna please, just stab him, isn't she? But Rose, please. There must be. There must be some other way. At this point, it looks like it's either one of the Seraphim or it's Zenerus, Mikleo. I'd like to believe there's another way too, but. Or we'll just get electrocuted. I mean, that works too, I suppose. Excuse you! <laughs> I have knives! Let's see what you think about that. Oh, is she is, is Saray gonna make the decision she was gonna? Saray. This This is something that I have to do myself. Thank you, Rose, for everything. Saray. Idiot. Saray. Stand back, everybody. What's his gambit? I won't let you carry this by yourself. Oh wait, no, don't tell me it's a one-on-one. -on -one. I'll be so upset. <laughs> or you know, a two v one. If that's if that's how this ends up. Well, at least they gave me the the bow. Man, it would suck if I miss right after you remembering that. I won't forget this pain. Ever. What a shot! Ow! Oh god, for the shockwave. So I guess they're going to kill they're gonna kill him regardless. Which will include Zenris. That's their that's their idea. I hope he's not about to fire Mikleo out of metal just speed. Cause they cause you, there's no guarantee that'll even save Zenris. Kind of feels like that works, didn't it? Mikleo, well done. <laughs> Thanks. Your resistance is such that you would dirty your own hands. I mean, that's so the last one that has to die now, except for you. Oh God, Matellus, no! Oh jeepers, he's armatizing. Did you not? Did you come on? You weren't even moved by Saray and Mikleo crying on the ground. They looked so sad. Good heavens. <laughs> Golly gee willikers. Oh god, we're doing this, eh? Okay, at least we get all of us. Armatized Heldolf. Dragon. Okay, at least doesn't resist, resist physical anymore. Oh god, he's just kind of leaning up on the battlefield, isn't he? This is it, everyone. He doesn't have many openings, but when we see the big one, let's armatize and use Siegfried to do what we have to do. I'm right here with you guys. No matter what he tries, I'll do everything in my power to stop it. Okay. Low defenses and stuff. So how will I know when to when to do the thing with Siegfried? Okay, well we don't want to be that close. Including what we just did with <laughs> Zenerus. Oh my god. Oh, uh, too late. Lectured you and stuff. <laughs> did he just uh, 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 friggin... Ebonist that? Oh, one with each of us? Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, so what do I have to do? I, I I don't understand what that means for me. I guess he'll be stunned, and then I and then I use the sick Is that what they're saying? But that'll lose me. Um, uh, Rose can't do it, right? Okay, good. I don't know why I wasted blast gauge for this. Okay, this is probably gonna take a few tries because this is, looks really weird and difficult. Someone reflected something just then. I think it was Saray. All right, low defenses and stuff though, so I should be able to just pile on damage here. Yow! I can't believe I saw I dodged that. <laughs> uh, okay, so um. Oh wait, power hit. Oh, dragon. Right. Okay. We can do power hits. Uh, so, I don't even know. Okay, so I, I, I want to be trying to do stuff that stuns him, or will it just be every- Ow. You return to nothingness. <laughs> so is it going to be that he, like, it's it's, it's going to be like every 10,000 health you do it, and then that just brings you to the next one? Ow. Okay, so I probably want to fire them off in, in order of which one I think I'll need least by before the end, so it's probably going to go something like, uh, uh, Zavid, then Edna, then 
Lila than Merclio, probably. Man, it's gonna be really hard if I'm not perfect dodging all of this stuff, because it's the attacks are just the entire field. Okay. Um God, this is gonna be rough. Okay, uh how are we feeling about this? I guessing I can't do a mystics on him uh, at the moment. Ugh. I did perfect dodge that though. Um No, it doesn't look like I can. Ow! Okay, um dragon. Uh, Crimson Cross is dragon, isn't it? Okay, that, that dodge is somewhat easy to do. Right, I don't know if this is like an instance thing, like it'll tell me when to do it and I can only do it at that point, or if it's like I can do it at any time, but like I should probably wait till he staggers so it actually does damage. Rain of Fire is working pretty well though. And it means I don't have to get too close, which is nice. Ow. Nice reflect, whoever did that. Good god. Oh my god, Saray's Evan is, is, is you're gonna, like mad every two seconds here. Okay, those dodges aren't the worst thing. Okay, right, doesn't look like I can do Mystics right right now. Uh, okay, um... I guess I could try for Banish Blast and stuff, but it's probably better to save Blast Gauge for healing and stuff. I'll try a Banish here, see how that goes. Yeah! Oh, he raised his hands up right at the last second. Yeah, the Banish Blast didn't do a whole lot. And it certainly didn't stagger him. Okay, that one you can just sort of run away from. So if I'm standing, like, right here, this is, like, the safest place I can be. Because that doesn't hit me. If he does the one that's, uh... That can't hit me if I back up from there. That one doesn't hit me because it's on that side. And this can't hit me if I back up. Okay, this is a reasonably defensible position here. Comes across this dragon, so I should be ending with that. Or starting with it, even. Actually, Crown Fire is way faster if I just do a lot of that. It's because of how good, strong, freaking strong Lila is. Oh, that hit me from there. Oh, shenanigans. How's Crystal Tower from here? That's yeah, a bit of damage. And I can't, and things can't hit, all hit me from here, so it's reasonably defensible here. Actually, am I completely invulnerable here? Can nothing hit me from here? That doesn't seem right. That one can hit me a little. Okay, I see. So if I keep blocking here, I'm reasonably safe. Probably would be better to do uh, either be either be Crown of Firing or uh, be have um, Mikleos or Mattis here and just be firing arrows everywhere. So much so that I'm gonna try and bring him over into me. Oh, I don't have enough uh, blast though. He's gonna die. Damn it! I'm guessing I can't teleport him with Gale Phantom. Wow, I can't really hit him from here either. Yeah, since I don't have range and I'd rather not get in the middle of those attacks and just be trying to duck weave them, I'll just stand here for a bit. I think. And wait for someone, uh, I, the, the two Seraphim are charging right now before I, you know, so that they can actually do some ranged attacks. Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Rose. You might be thinking, this is a terrible time to stand around and talk, but sometimes those are the times when you have to talk. How are you doing today? Are you feeling good? I've been feeling better. I've got a lot to do today, but instead I'm taking this time to do a three-hour boss fight. It's okay. They will probably be mad at me for wasting time, but it's fine. No, Mikleo, get over here, I need you. Okay, that's better. Especially now I can use use el elixir and all. Actually, it's probably better if I do this as Saray, so that if I anytime I do mess up a melee dodge, then I, there's a chance to eleven this instead. Well, but I, what I don't want to happen is then he just decides that uh, Mikleo is the one we want to use first for the thing. Uh, maybe I better do that. Continue with Rose then. <laughs> Never mind. All oh, right, I can target the hand. I should be doing that because it's much easier to hit from here. That is not the one I meant to elixir. I meant to do me. <laughs> Ow. Why would you do something so stupid and mean and stupid? Damn it, I always go for the big attacks right when he's about to actually do it. Let me show you fear of despair. What? What is happening? I don't comprehend. What are you saying? Oh god, that's getting rather big, isn't it? That thing over there. Uh. Is it just going to be a laser right down the middle? Or is it going to go over here too? This is my end. Okay. <laughs> There's a partial chance I was supposed to prevent that. So I guess that's when you want to use the thing? So Saray has to be alive whenever he arbitrarily decides to do that? Oh, that's fun. Uh, I guess I guess I guess that's my chance to just. Well, no, I guess I better play as Saray is what that means. Oh, kido. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call this stumbling, but uh, sure, I'll try this. I'd rather not do it with Miklio up front, but uh, well, shoot. Let's see if uh, if, what the what the hell I'm actually doing here. If if this is if I'm doing this right, <laughs> that might not be the right time you're supposed to use it. Maybe I was supposed to stagger him when he did that by doing something else, but I I couldn't see what. 
if it's just do a lot of damage in a short amount of time, I mean, I don't know. I was able to block it for like a little bit, but it, it hits the whole field, so that's obviously not something you're supposed to like. I mean, unless you can just dodge, 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 dodge it like left, right, just over and over it until you can say you're invincible, but that seems like probably not the solution. <laughs> right? <laughs> I have to assume. Nice reflect. Sorry, Edna. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not being very good at helping you not die. I could I could elixir them right now, but they're just gonna stand in the middle of the attacks like that, so it's probably not worth doing. And I don't see what prioritized defense would do, because they might just run away and not attack. Which is, uh, I would argue, less helpful, because th this thing can hit all over the map anyway, so there's nowhere they can go that unless they're perfect pulling... Uh, I mean, unless they stand right in the specific spot that I'm standing, which I don't think the AI is gonna do. Because that would as well be admission that you can do this as a viable strat, which I don't think they would want, <laughs> want to encourage. Because I feel like I'm probably doing this not quite right, somehow. But hanging on to the, the depths of every last dodge they do, it does not sound like f much fun either. <laughs> like, trying to try to dodge, make it have to perfect dodge every other single thing or get one-shotted... Uh, ...is not on the agenda for me! Ow. So I'd rather do this... ...if I can. Oh, I'm actually- am I out of that range? That would be very good if I was out of all the ranges. <laughs> Not quite. This is like the one instance where I wouldn't want them to swap in automatically, actually. Is there a way I can do that? Mm, I don't think there is. Because if I could just save them for when I want to use them as bullets, then I don't have to shoot Miklio immediately. Actually, there's only the only way to unarmatize is to do the action that lets you shoot, right? So... Either I can't unarmatize right now, or I'll learn in a minute that uh, it does just unarmatize, and then shooting the bullet is the thing you do in a very specific context that I haven't figured out yet. <laughs> okay, now it's doing this, so uh, I'm gonna hit left trigger. Okay, that's not it. You... You're not supposed to, uh, unarmatize, or like, shoot the gun at this point, so am I just supposed to do a lot of damage? I don't know how I would. Uh, I don't- I don't know what exactly I would do to stop this. I'm just gonna mash attacks? I do, I, there's no- I don't know any way. Maybe I'm just supposed to mash dodges? Uh, not an no idea. Am I am, am I missing something really obvious? Can you can you just be at the maybe if you'll survive it if you're at the far end here, like at the back here? I, I don't know. That did a lot more damage than than I was expecting. Oh, that hits you from there. Okay, <laughs> I guess it does. It doesn't take blast gauge, does it? Like I don't have to have an X amount charged. That would be ridiculous. There's no way they could make a portion where you just insta-die if you don't have enough blast gauge charged. With no clear de definition of when that starts, that would be ridiculous. Whenever we've done the firing the gun thing in the past, it's just been a matter of... Uh, like, you just press the- you just unarmatize at the right time. I did not mean to use it on you. Uh, I'm gonna tell them to go defensive, see what that, uh, does for us. Maybe they'll just kind of stay back and not get hit by stuff. Well, there's that. <laughs> Never mind. Don't don't prioritize defense, apparently. What are the other ones? Spread out, focus attacks, charge forward. Okay, I don't do whatever. Look, AI, I don't know what to do either. So I'm not, I'm not gonna go around telling you what to do. I'm just trying to think of all the possible solutions that could be to, to that thing where it's just the, the big laser. Uh, my my brain says what they want me to do is just go all ham attacking there, because it's this big, slow, silly-looking charge-up thing, right? But... I, if I there's I don't know what I'd be trying to do then that like do I have to stun him to get a stagger in which case how am I supposed to be confident that I can get a stun in that short amount of time if I just have to do X amount of damage then how much damage is it and can I do it on this difficulty oh yeah dragons I should be doing that one uh, well I guess I have to be closer for that maybe I should be trying to do power hit stuff when he's charging the thing because he can't move or anything, so I, I should run in and start doing power and stuff. I guess that's the idea. I'll be so upset if I have to look up what to do here. <laughs> this is like the, the search of shame, googling how to be uh, a hell elf, and then you just find some message board for like three years ago where someone's like, I don't know how to beat hell elf. I tried pressing all the buttons, nothing happened, and you're like, no, oh, I'm just like them. <laughs> I pressed buttons and also did not know what to do. <laughs> but my perception of this at the moment of this is that this is patently unexplained. Uh, which I- I hope I'm just missing something really obvious. They didn't say anything in the book here, right? When we see the big one, uh, whatever opening that refers to, we should armatize and use- let's use Siegfried to do what we have to do. Now I figured that meant- well, never mind. And the fact that Rose says, I'll be with you doing whatever to stop it, um... Makes it sound like she can't do the thing with Siegfried, which I guess we knew already. I, it has to be the Shepherd, I guess. I tried pressing the Armatus button when I was Armatized. Nothing happened. Um... 
the thing is, they haven't tutorialized this, right? Because we did it twice in the whole game. And, and under both circumstances, they kind of, like, told us, like, they were just kind of like, press out left, left triggers, left bumpers, so it's not like we know what the circumstances have to be. I, as far as I know, all you need to do is be armatized. I didn't see any mention of Blast Gage the last times. Um, but if there was mention of it, we did it twice, so to expect me to remember it now, like 60 hours of gameplay later, it seems improbable, which is why I, I assume it should be pretty straightforward what I'm supposed to do. Um, I don't... I can't guarantee that I'm right about that assumption, obviously, being an assumption at all. But I can't expect that they are demanding that you have Rose up as well, because then they're insisting that you have two of the humans up, which I can't- there's nothing I can do to make the AI survive being stupid. <laughs> like, it just- there's no way around that. I- like, I could heal it, I understand that, but that carries me only so far, and when I run out of Blast Gauge, the AI is- is just at its own mercy of being stupid. So, it, it can't be that they want me to have both humans alive, because there's no way I could orchestrate that without using life bottles, which I have a limited supply of. And there's also probably an achievement for not doing it, if the rest of the game is any indication. So they should be uh, expecting you to be able to do it without items, and without, therefore, probably without both humans up. We're almost down to 30,000, though, which I expect is when it's, he's going to do his chunky blast. Here we go, okay. Now... What do I do? I guess I'm gonna rush forward and try and do lots of damage. That's what I said I was gonna do, right? Just right in the face. Just the six falling stars. Uh, he gets armor for it, so it's not okay. Like I'll try. This doesn't appear to be doing anything whatsoever. Uh, yeah, nothing. Okay, um... <laughs> Am I maybe supposed to wait till like, right at the last second when he's char got it, getting it charged up? I actually couldn't even do a power hit because he just- it counted his armored- his armored state because he didn't stagger from it, naturally. Um, and if you're- they're stagger- they don't- they don't stagger, then- like, if they're in armored position, then they don't get power hitted. If I have to come back to it another day, don't worry, I totally will. Ah, not Rose! Oh, shoot. Like, if I can't figure it out today and I run out of time, like, on my hard drive or whatever, or with the other human obligations I have <laughs> as a functioning human, ostensibly functioning. I'm not sure if I'm still alive at this point, actually. Oh my god, I should totally be doing that. I'm getting good at dodging that one, at least. And that will be of little comfort to me if, A, I run into it face first like a moron like I just did then, and also if I don't know what to do for the rest of the boss fight. I'm pretty sure it hit all the entire field, right? There wasn't anywhere you could stand that you were safe from it. I'm- I'm- that's what I think. Do you think if I just let, set the AI, like, uh, Saray's AI to auto as well, like I just made an entire team of computers, they would figure out what to do to beat the last boss? Because I'm- I'm expecting it's something non-traditional. None of- none of my current uh, knowledge explains what I'm supposed to do here. I'm probably gonna look it up and it's just gonna be like, you need Rose to be up as well for this or some weirdness, but... Or is there a particular order they want me to shoot the Seraph in? The Seraphim in? Do I, like, do I need to do Mikleo last or something? That wasn't properly indicated to me if I- if it is, but, uh... So it, it probably isn't that. Well, I shouldn't say that, because nothing has been especially immediately indicated to me. So I- t <laughs> any harebrained guess I come up with... ...is as good as anything that's told me, since it's told me nothing. Rose is alive now, if I can keep it that way for three seconds, then... Maybe we can, uh, we can, we can get to the charge-up thing while she's still alive. Or not. If I wait a minute here, um, it's just at the cusp of 30,000. I could wait till, uh, Seraphim appears and have them bring up Rose. Or I suppose I could separate and have Miklio do it. Uh, I don't know what to do. It can't just be that they have to do a lot of damage, right? Because how would they balance that with the different difficulties? I just gotta think. I gotta, I gotta think about what it, what it probably is that they want. Uh... And absolutely nothing comes to mind except do a lot of damage or uh, RNG a stun or try again. Oh, I've got five blast gauge now. Let's try it um, and see if n maybe what I'm supposed to do is is I, I just maybe this thing just does take blast gauge. Oh no, wait, maybe shit. Maybe I gotta wait till it's like all the way charged. Okay, if it was gonna be any time, it would be there, right? Uh, No clue. Alright, this time I think I'll just try attacking all I can to the very end. Like, just absolutely spamming attacks when, when we get down to that point. But what I'm doing now is not especially difficult, so I wish it would just let me go right back to before he uses the laser. 
I don't see much value in me doing this bit again. And the fact that Edna says it'll take stones to pull it off makes it sound like I have to do it during like a really intense moment. I really hope it isn't that you're supposed to just do a whole bunch of damage, because then I'll have to do it four times in a row every time we get to the point where we're like weakening him. Okay. Um... So my plan this time was just pile on damage, absurd amounts of damage on the face and see if eventually that, uh, does, like, like this, you see this number that's growing here? Maybe if I get that above a certain threshold, yeah, this stops going on. Uh, yeah, I... Still nothing. Okay. Maybe it's in the battle book? Something says somewhere about how to do the, the gun thing? I doubt it. It's got There's gotta be some thing you do that brings you into some kind of special sequence where it's very obvious you're supposed to do the thing, and then... I don't know what, but that suggests that there's some other way to survive uh, that thing that doesn't have anything to do with uh, get using the Siegfried there. So maybe you can survive that if you just run to the other side of the field? I think if I die here, though, I'm just gonna look it up, because this is getting silly, I mean, just watching me try different things. Because it takes, like, a, a solid, like, ten minutes to get back each time. Ten minutes of just scattering crush. Six falling stars. <laughs> that last time, when, uh, when I, I just tried to do a whole bunch of damage to his face, I also tried the input for a Mystic, and that didn't do anything, so that wasn't it, apparently. Now this next time, what, should we just try and run away, or should I try and six falling stars it right in the gut like this, because this does a lot of damage? Like, maybe I just didn't do enough damage, but you really are just supposed to do a hell of a lot of damage? Or should I try and run away, like... Uh... I don't think standing at this side of the screen is gonna do anything different. But I'm doing it now. I think I tried blocking already. I'm pretty sure it didn't work. Yeah. Uh, Alright, I'm looking it up. Sorry if that's tremendously disappointing. Uh, right, people are saying you have to do enough damage, so I guess there's, uh... I'm kinda screwed there. Because they also said it does, the damage you need to do increases each time, so if I can't even do the first one, giving it everything I've got, there's no way I'll be able to uh, survive, so I, um, I guess it's grind hoe for me. I'll only go back here once I've already ground up to, like, level a billion million, so I can just do enough damage, because uh, right now they're just saying, no, I can't. And also someone said, by the way, you should use dragon effectiveness for that part when they're charging, but it, he armors through it, so the dragon effectiveness doesn't do anything, is my understanding of how that works. I'm gonna get, just give it one more try, this time as Rose and Lila, and maybe I'll have better luck there with damage-wise. All right, but I can't uh, heal myself perfectly with this. My healing ability is pretty shameful. And I guess that means I, I should, when I get him down to like 30,000, I should wait and then get my friends up and then go for it so that we can all do damage at once. Actually, I'm doing damage a lot faster if I just do it up close like this, even though this is much more dangerous. Even getting up this close is pretty safe. Uh, it's just the, the big slam up and down that really hits you from here. Either that or I should just use some damn items to res people. That's probably, you know what, well, screw it, I'm gonna do that. I can always get that another achievement later. This is just, this is silly. <laughs> this may not even be an achievement for this one. I'd rather just resurrect them with items. Why not? Why am I not doing that yet? Oh, he's burned, is he? Great. That increases his stagger time. And we are all so lucky. <laughs> okay, you can side dodge that one, I see. Okay, so uh, he's now doing this thing, so I'm gonna life bottle... Zavi. We don't have very long before... Uh, I mean, the item timer is gonna be a, a fair bit, so I can only do so much to, res to bring Saray up. I guess I could have Zavi charge, but I think it's better if I just go... Ham with my spells right here. Is it 10,000 maybe? Nope, we gotta do more than 10,000. Uh, 12,000? 15,000? 20,000. Okay, you need to do 20,000. Okay, well at least, okay, I'll do Zavid first. Okay, so Fisty Ultima, but I've gotta do more each time. I sure hope not. Okay, phase one, please tell me that's at least a checkpoint. <laughs> So no more Zavid for the moment. Okay. How cruel and thoughtless of you. To do what? You've given up someone you called a friend. Uh, I don't know about that one. Lies, I'm in the next phase. <laughs> Shut up. We're going to stick to our beliefs right until the very end. That's a new move. Couldn't do that before. God, I've got so much blast gauge. If only my healing art was worth anything. No, oh, we've got a breath weapon. Okay, that's fun and cool and new. Oh god, please say it's checkpoints between each one, oh my god. What are we gonna do when there's just the one Seraph left? I guess, uh, Rose can do, like, uh, Dream Slasher and stuff. There's that. That is an approach. What? Hit me! <laughs> I'm just gonna use all my Blast Gauge to heal right now. Seismic Assault! Oh, okay, that doesn't hit from here. That's good. Maybe Calamity Wall is- or Calamity Flare is better because this'll hit, like, all of his bit bits. 
or it won't, <laughs> you know. Well, it could, a number of things could or could not happen, I suppose. It just depends how much of him is invincible, I guess. And for how long. I don't know if this is how this is working. I can't tell. Whatever, we're almost to 20,000, and we'll see what, uh, what's going on then. Actually, I guess you don't need to... Probably, so if it's if it's down, he'll he'll make us shoot again at 20,000 and then 10,000, so I'll keep one Seraph until the, the very end, right? I guess? Do you think he'll die at zero, or when he gets to zero, will I have to shoot the thing again? Well, I guess, but... No, but what I'm asking is, when it gets to zero, will I have to do another 20,000 damage or whatever the ridiculous thing is, and then... I don't know. He's gonna go into his next poem. When I do this, and now I'm gonna... Oh, I should have res them before that. What the hell am I thinking? Um... Okay, so should I resurrect Miklio in the hopes that he gets Saray up? Or Saray's probably doing more damage up front. I'll get Saray and then just try and uh, do uh, my shenanigans. But we we really left it down to the wire last time, so I don't think I'm going to make it uh, with just waiting for to do this amount of damage normally. Like, it's already gone like the second charge and I'm barely doing this and it's not even actually uh, it's stacking the way it did before. I, I don't I think that's it. I'll keep stacking it, but... No, no, I... Now, is it, is it all the way back? Okay, yeah, I have to leave it to another day. Sorry. It just ain't feasible to do that much damage, so I guess... Uh, I shall wait. So, sign off for now, but um, for you, this will just be like three seconds, then I'll be back when I'm like level 9 billion uh, doing this fight, I guess. See you in like two seconds. It's me, I'm back. Man, I'm sorry you missed all that grind session. It was like the most exciting thing. Just kidding. It was the most boring thing I've ever spent a whole night in the next morning on. But we're here now, and we're all level then close, approaching level 70s. And I've loaded up on to hell on Lindworm gear, or Lindver gear, which is just capability plus dragons. I didn't realize this priorly, but it caps out. Uh, um, once you hit 5, uh, which is plus 75%, uh, as you can see here, if I put another one on to make it 6, uh, it stays plus 75% because it's actually broken as hell. I think it means you do 75% more damage, but you also take a quarter of the damage you normally would, I think, as in 75% less. Which is way more than I thought it did. So I'm just gonna load up on all this. Uh, I, I briefly played the fight again just to see if uh, this would be really helpful, and it seemed extremely helpful, this Linver stuff. So I'm gonna load everyone up with a bunch of Linver. And we will see how we get on. Naturally, it tanks everyone's stats a little from what they uh, uh, typically are. Like, they're not quite as uh, on their, their same wavelength. But, I mean, considering how much extra damage we'll be doing from this Linver, it uh, is worth it in the end, I'd say. And since this one has a times two on it, I don't actually need five. I just need four for you to get 75% so I can keep my nice shoes. And just a side note, um, I I got the the decrepit paper, whatever it was called, uh, up to plus 10. Then sanctified it and it became unnamed paper. I, it still, it merges with everything, so you can merge it, you can build it up really easily. I, I don't know what it does, though. <laughs> like, I guess the first skill is sealed here, so in theory I could, I could merge it with something to give it an, a, a different skill. I don't know what the deal with it that is, or, like, I mean, I guess that's nice to be able to uh, use the first slot for whatever skill I want, but I wonder if you can get unnamed paper now to plus 10 and then sanctify that and something will happen, I don't know. No, let's not worry about that for now. And let's nosh some snacks before we go in there. So we can all have a nice time. Alright, resume. I think I'm gonna use the feed first again. As you can see, that did like very little damage. At least that protects my AI idiots a bit longer. Oh god, Lila died right as I was saying that. Is Monolith the current dragons? Huh, oh, diggity dang. Here's the first one. Which I can probably get by just spamming current fire, honestly. There we go. Um, I'm bringing in Zavid for this. Come on, anytime you want. Okay. You got it, buddy. The wind that shall whatever he said. Sophistia Ultima. No, I, I think they get some slightly newer skills uh, on the second phase here. He does, not they, whatever that means. Uh, that's not the one I meant to play as. Tricky thing up ahead is when we lose our second Seraph, we won't be able to let them recharge. So I'll have to use items on them, I guess. I'll, I'll, I'll do that if I have to, I don't wanna... It's, it's just not worth wasting time otherwise. Once again, though, this side of the map is pretty safe. Alright, his art defense is high, so I heal him easy. I forgot about that. Alright, he's doing this again. So just gonna go ham with damage. I'm just gonna do model with the current over and over. Uh, it would've been nicer to do more damage if I had uh, Lila, but I don't, so I... Uh, I'm just gonna go ham as I can, but... I don't know how much I can do. I think you, they said you need to do a bit more damage each time before... Okay, got it. Um, 
No, okay, I can't. They have. Oh, they're making me do it with Miklio. Okay, fine. Sorry, Miklio. I would have done it with Edna because I don't want. I would prefer to have you at the end, but I need at least Lila for the, this last bit. That's unfortunate that they wouldn't let me uh, pick her, but okay. Yep, that's us, all right. <laughs> that, that is accurate and a great, brilliant explanation of what's happening here. Okay, um, so we should only need to fire one more, and if since Edna's with uh, Zeray there, that it seems to be like the one that's going to happen, which is like, great because it can keep Lila to the end, if, uh, which is what I prefer to do, because she's the most one who's got the most damage because she's got this dragon effective thing already with her power hits, and then also just her massive damage for being Lila. Like, we're almost halfway down to the next phase, okay? So, I, 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 like I'm saying, I prefer to keep uh, Edna with uh, Saray there, and I think if I, as long as I'm not dying, then he, that she will stay there. We don't have any other Seraphim to swap in, so... <laughs> 13 damage! Dancing Cyclone! Ha, that's new! Ow! Well, good thing we have all this Dragon Plus gear. So, <laughs> it basically did no damage. Stop trying to heal them, guys. <laughs> I, I was like, why are they, aren't they healing? Because they have a status effect. <laughs> My AI target still swapped, targeted them with the healing art, which is not what I was hoping for. All right, we're about to get into the next uh, uh, staggering stage. I have reflected 8,500. Look at us. That was pretty incredible just now. Ow. Okay, he's about to he's about to start charging it up again, I reckon, when I do this. Okay, here we go. Just charge damage as much as we can. Uh... All right, I, I maybe I hesitated a bit too much there. This might be death, but I'll charge it all anyway. Come on, thirty thousand, surely that's enough. Oh, really? Thirty-four, thirty-five? How much do you want, game? Forty thousand. Okay. Um. Uh. Sure thing, Edna. Whatever you say. Not the hand. Let's do the face. Why don't we? <laughs> Strength of Earth Titan. Strength of an Earth Titan, in fact. That one! Earth Revolution whatever! Alright, am I not allowed to swap? Okay, I'm not allowed to uh, have um, Lila on Rose anymore, so she's just gonna be by herself. Strav, Rose is really good at fighting! Alright, this will be tricky though, because this is where uh, I have to... Um, I'll have to... I mean, at least I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to, but I probably have to... Uh, Ow, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to focus on... Well, uh, let me stop while I say that. Probably when it gets down to zero health, I'll probably have to, like, stagger the hell out of him. Or, or he'll do the big laser again. I hope not, though. Fiery Burst, what dat? Uh, I don't like whatever this is. I wish I could look up and see what's likely to happen. Okay. <laughs> that was an attack, I guess. Ow, 200 damage. I quiver with fear. If they ask us to start uh, charging lots of damage all over again, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm, I'm gonna life bottle Rose probably, because we're probably not gonna make it otherwise. Let's try this Nova Burst, why don't we? Just for fun. Because <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah! Oh, that's actually a lot of damage, it just charges really slow. Oh, he's got a spell! Sinister Soul, what does it do? Goes down the middle, okay. <laughs> Much like many of his attacks. Please don't make me do 50,000 damage at once, I will be very upset if you do that game. Oh, not while I have fatigue on. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna wait around for fatigue to be gone because I'm I'd have to use an item to get it gone And I'd still like to try and do this without items un unless it seems like obvious that I'll need one here um, But if I I'll, I'll be running out of I won't have enough mana stamina to take him down when, If it asks me to do it all at once if I have fatigue on so I'm just gonna wait for that to be gone I think this is the time when things are dramatic and scary and you need to take a breather and check in with your own feelings Because if you don't do that How are you gonna save the feelings of other people? Hmm? Ow! That was rude, but we're forgiven for that. Oh god, fatigue has gone, been gone for a long time. <laughs> we should be, we should be carrying on here. Why are you guys trying to distract me? What's this about? <laughs> Ow. Ow. All right, I'll just rhapsody myself a few times to get this health back. Because I'm not gonna use the blast on too much else, I don't think. All right, that can't hit me from here. Okay, he's charging it up now with uh, forty thousand to go. I'm gonna, uh, life bottle, or, yeah, well, e mm, is it better to take the time life bottling her? Yes, I think so. Okay, I'm life bottling her, and then I'm gonna charge up to the face. No, it doesn't matter to the face. I'm just gonna spam the crown fires here. 
But I think having her will get to attack on a little more damage, which is absolutely necessary here. And let's see if we can get this gone before uh, everything is garbage. Let's need 14,000 more. Oh, okay, never mind. We have the chance now. Uh, Lila, you're a brave woman. You know that? Ah, nice one, Rose. Just keep kicking. Keep stabbing. Time to get stabby. Holy shit. She's so strong, dude. She just bull held its hand. One bear's ultima. Bang! Please say that's it. We oh, thank God. Did it. Everyone. 87 experience. What even are you, game? It, it's all over. It better be. <laughs> KO'd three times. Is it though for real? I'll be so damn happy if it is. But is it? Yeah, but that worked because you're not a, you're not armatized anymore. <laughs> ah, ooh, easy, Rose. Saray. Yeah. Oh, what's he doing? Please say this isn't a one v one. What do you think he was mouthing there? Was it goodbye or I love you? <laughs> Probably goodbye. They didn't seem especially romantic. Let's do this. Up to interpretation, I suppose. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> the last thing I want is for it to turn into a damn 1v1. Why? Anytime it's come out looking good, does this game say it's time for a 1v1? Whatever. If he's the same attacks as before, then they're lame. Except for the damn Hellfire thing. Uh, okay, but I better get all this, uh, dragon gobshite off. The 1v1 suck! Why? Okay, whatever. If I keep this on, I can do blasts, um, nice and quickity quickity. And I think I'd better not worry about, um, reflectings? Damn it, all of our good zero impact vests are elsewhere. And these ones will only have Invalida or uh, type capabilities. Oh, this one's not bad. Okay, this is gonna take a few tries, but we can do it. We can diggity dang do it. Uh, these are some cool skills, and we could probably have better shoes than this, like these ones have nice defense on them. Lucky I was building those. And I should probably pick one of these that has good defense, shouldn't I? Except the only ones that have defense are really low level. I'll keep this one then. I should probably set up some moves. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, do, let's do this, you and I. This is a back dodge here. I, I know, I know all about your moves. Oh, I can't stagger you, I'm dead. Okay, it's fine. Okay, he's, he's got way lower health than, than uh, ever before because they are realizing that it would be absurd for him to not when uh, you're doing it by yourself. Okay, uh, now I have uh, I have Airman's Soul on, right? So my Blast Gauge, uh, my Mystic should only cost two, or I can save up for the really good one, which will only cost four. But doing a four-hit combo will be difficult here, so I better just go for every Mystic I can get my grubby little paws on. Although I think it's physical, right? Oh, he's got a new Mystic? Is it? That's not your mystic. <laughs> Did that do something? Oh, is it over? <laughs> I got three achievements, so I guess so. Uh, a life torn between order and chaos, a life of struggle and a life of moderation. I guess that's a life facing malice. These are for beating it on different difficulties. Oh, okay. Just one mystic does it, apparently. He looks normal now. I purified him, did I? Is that Motellus? I mean, I'm... Hey, if it means not doing the 1v1, A-okay with me. <laughs> oh, they want me to go pick that up, hey? They do. Oh, it's going full Naughty Dog. I have to slowly walk forward with the pu I'm pushing the stick. You've achieved your goal. You've avenged your guardian. Your comrades. Nope, that wasn't the goal. <laughs> I think you're a little misinformed. This age of chaos will not end. Until you do. I mean, you look plenty purified to me. Surely we can let this go. You're not a hellion anymore. I just threw a lion at your face and purified the heck out of you. Sorry, sorry. I'll be over there in a second. I'm really tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. See how many monsters I had to get to get those Linwer rings? Alrighty. Let's 
pick this up here. It wasn't stuck in there very tight. Put that sword through me. A new Lord of Calamity will be born. What, you mean me? Maybe I'll just bop you on the head with it then. <laughs> it's time to leave? No, I can't go back. <laughs> Do it. Only then will you fully understand. Where's the escape button? I guess they want me to hit the slash button, don't they? Uh, is there a way I can, like, wait and not do it? Let's just give it a few minutes in case there's, like, this is, like, an, a moral option type deal. I mean, Saray did resolve to kill him earlier, but, like, I thought that was because he couldn't really be separated from Matos. Unless this is more, like, metaphysical and I'm, like, in his brain or something and he still is Hellionized. It doesn't look like a Hellion to me, anyway. Do you think I'm winning the staring contest? Alright, I said, I said there for a few minutes. Let's do it. Okay. Sorry about this. Oh, they're gonna make me raise it up and then stab it in? Oh god, that's just brutal. Sorry! I'm sorry that this was the only way to save you. Good night, Heldolf. Your life of eternal solitude is at last over. You what? dare fight back even until until the very end. I can't I can't stand this. Well, at least you don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> Sorry about that one. Oh, but that's the... that that's probably is a good sign. For mostly malevolence, but there was there was that stuff too. Which historically has been good. <laughs> oh, no, unless that was Lila the, and, and Miklio and them. I thought that was the thing that came out of the little kids in, in the Earth Temple. Like, this is the same kind of, like, essence of spirit, but... Hey there, Motelis. I don't know why I'm caressing your nose, but we're doing this now. Thank you. Yay! Look at Camlon! Still broken, but you know what? Not purple anymore. A marked improvement. Where the hell are you guys going? <laughs> Miguel and, and Talfrin and Felice and them. They were in Roche. They were all just tr tr driving somewhere. Ah, the Elysians are all are all seeing that we've done it, I guess. Huzzah! So happy. <laughs> and there's Maven's Grave. It looks a lot greener than when we were there, but... And this is Marlin then, right? Okay. <laughs> Thax's like, Yay! We don't have to live in a world of abyss and suffering forever! <laughs> there's Oish. In Tintagel Ruins. This is a pub somewhere. Oh, there's Lucas. <laughs> sure, sure. Everyone's everyone's immediately rejoicing from I I it seems unlikely to me. And the debates continue. Shouting, <laughs> punching. Sergey and Alicia still pushing for the obvious answer here. <laughs> the only the only two with any level headedness in the whole kingdom, unfortunately. In the whole Vio Two Kingdoms. a bit of hope sprinkling around their the collarbones. That'll get you right back in the, the, the debate mood. Well, what that? Oh! I don't know where she's seeing this from, but... I guess uh, she's, she's figured that then. Oh, what? That's but 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 we don't. So what happened? <laughs> did he did he merge with Mount Ellis or? 
I guess that's the idea. He's he's merged with Mautelis, and and that's kind of just how how that's gonna be until the world regains resonance and faith and all that. Um, right? Okay. Da, 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 da. Saray's theme. Well, I gotta say, I loved it. I adored this game. This was an exceptional, exceptional game. Well done, cast of the Japanese version, which I did not play. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, but actually, if that's if that, that's probably gonna go to um, the English version in a minute here, right? So I should I should shut up while I see if I know any names here. But what are you guys eating? <laughs> oh, I, I, I have the prickle bore, I guess. Um, Mocap actors, well done, well done. Rose and Alicia were the same, huh? Huh? Most interesting. Music. What? There's only two people on music. <laughs> How did that happen? You guys did amazing. Oh no, I see. Here we go. There they all are. Um. This game was astounding. It was stupendous. I kind of have the impression that this game is like the Skyward Sword of the Tales is where the people dunk on it real hard. It's not actually a terrible game by any means, um, but it does have some, I would say, glaring flaws. Um, I, I, there were there were there there were certainly I had a lot of complaints by the end, which is weird because. Like, I, I think back, I, I'm th thinking back on the whole experience as we've had it up to now, and I'm still hoping there's an end credit sequence that explains, that it, uh, hope tells us a little bit more about what, what went gone on with Saray at the end there, and the Seraphim, I guess they got out, but like, it's hard to say. Um, d but, but thinking back on it, I, I, I think of so damn many complaints I had, but I think in the end they're mostly that, complaints... Uh, they some of them really hampered the experience uh, for a bit there. I mean, there's there's so much to cover here. Uh, the things I liked and didn't. Um, I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I think I, I guess I'll just start with the battles because that's like the first thing that comes into my head as being I don't want to use the word problematic, but obnoxious. I guess the thing was with those enemies having random invincibility periods and random armor periods. It, it meant just so that it it, it made for a very I uh, kind of, I don't want to use the word lame, but in many ways it lameified a lot of, like, really dramatic, like, this game knew how to kill a dramatic moment dead in its tracks. Aizen, the fight with Fuse Face, um, went before it bore Dezel dies. That fight of Armatized Heldolf. So many important story beats with, with huge dramatic fights that just die right in their tracks because the game has, like, you can't, you, there, it has attacks that you can't interrupt sometimes, but you can't in other times. It has, um, there are attacks where, like, the armor negates your power hit, so if the only way to get any good damage is to do a power hit combo, then you're out of luck if it randomly decides that it armored through it and no power hit starts. Um, but then also, certain, some of those fights were sort of stupidly easy for the wrong reasons, like that armatized Heldolf fight at the end. You know there were, like, six attacks there that not didn't hit me once, because I just stood to the left of where they were coming. Like, that was kind of ridiculous. Oh god, they're running from a dragon there. That's, uh... That seems like my experience with dragons in this game. Um... I, all I had to do was stand at the right to avoid, like, a number of those attacks. And, and furthermore, that uh, boss fight was, like, um... Uh, absurdly undoable when we first tried it, just, like, at yesterday, which for you was not yesterday, but was the same episode as this. But uh, did I already miss the the English dub actors? Damn it! I probably did. Sorry. Um, I'm just just curious if there were any more names I knew that I didn't realize yet. Um, what was I saying about that fight? Right, because because when it, when he charges up that super laser, you're just just like you're just supposed to do a lot of damage all at once. And with the difficulty and setup I had, I wasn't doing damage all at once because I was playing. Like, some of my characters were really tanky, and some of my characters were glass cannon, lots of damage, but no uh, defense. So I was kind of, I, because by having a balanced party, I, I had might set it up to be like a in for the long haul kind of build that I could be sort of ready for anything. Um, but I wasn't ready for that uh, when I friggin, well, couldn't do enough damage in, in a short enough amount of time, which, mind, none of the other bosses have ever asked me to do, right? So why would I assume that I needed to do that for the last one um, to be able, like, you have 30 seconds to do this or it's an insta party wipe. There's just, I don't understand the design behind that. Like, 
All that made me do is say, well, I gotta quit out here, go get a bunch of dragon gear, and come back ten levels higher. And when I did that, we did it in ten minutes! <laughs> it was the easiest fight in the game! So, it, it, there shouldn't have needed to be that level of, it's impossible or it's way too easy. It should have been like... I, I mean, that shouldn't have been a thing you need to do quickly at all, That's but that's neither here nor there. I, um, But then beyond that, Aizen, like... The first time I fought with Aizen, I, I came up with a, a sort of, um, a, a unique way to take him down, which was just by doing all reflects, uh, because he was so wildly overpowered for us that he would we would reflect a lot of damage from him, and I thought that was pretty cool that it let me do that, until he decided halfway through, well, you can't actually beat the boss that way, you better just run away, and then it was like, okay, fine, um, and then... So it was like, why Why is it there in the first place? <laughs> all, all that does is kill the drama of it, because then I got there. I, I basically s stood there for, like, hours doing that until a mess... They might as well just have, have had a message pop up on screen that says, Oh, I better shut up. Hang on, this is important. Is this way after and Saray's woken up? Or has Saray woken up and, like, two days later everyone's been nice? Is that old Talfrin and Felice? Oh my god, this is years later then. Okay, so the Seraphim are there, and I'm not sure. I guess that's the next Shepherd. I didn't. I couldn't read what was on the gravestone. I, all I, it looked like A U M I N was the, was the name on the gravestone. I, I don't. I don't know what that was supposed to be. Okay, um, further credits. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, okay. At least we know the Seraphim got out of it. Um. Huh, I hang on, that's actually throwing me for a loop. I'm not sure who what name was supposed to be on that, but uh That's good anyway that those seraphim got out. Um what was like in the middle of complaining about? I don't know. Something about Eisen and they might as well just had a message pop up on screen that says you can't go here. I, I don't know why they didn't. Because that's es essentially what it was. Um Oh, this is them visiting Maven's grave. That's cool. I love these sketches, by the way. Oh no, okay, this is way back when we did there the first time, because Saray's there. Um I'm just trying to think if there are other things to complain about the, about the combat system. Actually, I had a lot of things I loved about the combat system. I was pretty down on it when I started this game. Um, I didn't... Because I had been used to playing... I had played a bit of Symphonia. Well, I knew about what Symphonia was like. I would played all through all of Symphonia 2 and uh, Zillia. I was pretty used to the linear motion one, where it's it's it, it goes sideways, and you can see your character move left to right, um, rather than over the shoulder, and you see your character move forward to back. And this system did cause a few problems, like... The, like uh, depth perception is annoying as heck because you can't if seeing from behind your character and not really overhead it, like you can't tell how close you are to a certain attack or how far ahead your attack is going really but that was that ended up uh, not really mattering too much because of all the amazing amazing good things that this combat system had I like at first I was like Oh, why they changed it? It wasn't broken. And now after playing this, I'm like, oh my god, the other games were so broken. This is like an amazing idea. This, I think, the idea to say screw a mana bar and have it be a stamina thing that refills instead is such good design because otherwise you never get to use your, you never get to practice with any of your special arts because you're like, I don't want to waste the stamina for if I, or the mana in case I run into a boss fight. But this way you're. It, it's it's natural in your combat Ca spell casting um doing hidden arts all that stuff oh my god you guys are so unsafe right now <laughs> why 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 did you why were you allowed in those ruins um oh one more scene everyone everyone shut up we could we could praise it in a minute this looks like Mautelus' shrine that's the appropriate number of stairs for Mautelus' shrine Is that Rose? Or no? Alicia. I can't tell. A spear. I, I saw a long arm on the back, so I'm guessing Alicia? Oh. That didn't look like Alicia. It's Miklio! Boy grew out his hair! What's he doing here? I also don't remember all this lava being here.
Oh, or is he going to all the different shrines or what? I thought this was Mytelis' shrine. Ugh. Didn't no surging falls will save you now. <laughs> is that our boy? Is it the boy? Or no, or is it the, the kid? <laughs> he just lets him go. <laughs> okay, I guess that was the right then, because the the little kid wielded Oh, Dusk of the Shepherd. Another achievement we got. Or Desk of the... No, Dusk of the Shepherd. Of course it's Desk. Finn! End! It had to be Saray. Saray was a blue shirt. That little kid... The, the next Shepherd was wearing a green shirt. What do you mean, Dusk of the Shepherd? There was a friggin... There was another Shepherd after Saray. <laughs> That's not the end of the Shepherds. Receive legendary Seraphic Art Key. Key for reawakening ancient Seraphic Arts. It's a mystery why Heldolf had it. It's a mystery why you're giving it to me after the game is over. Congratulations on finishing the game. You have the option to save clear data now. Uh, by loading clear data, you can continue your game from the point right before the uh, final battle. Additionally, there will be a new game plus option. New game plus will allow you to start a new game with your clear data carried over. Sweet. Is it back to title now? Good. Okay. I'm going to get copyright stricken if I play that. I'll just load my, my clear save data with a little star on it. And then go somewhere nicer. Wait, sorry. Got mini Marta. Marta! Why is in Luwaldi? Oh my god, did you get a little pendulum of her? She's my favorite. She's the best. A tough young woman for those who have run the three-legged race. <laughs> that's the Tales of Symphonia 2 reference. Oh, that's adorable! Hang on, sorry, I don't want to lose the focus here. I was in the middle of praising this game. I just want to find a nice pretty vista to stand over. You have about three seconds to bugger off. Did we get some kind of special seraphic arts from getting that new key? I have no idea what that's about. Anyway. Maybe something you unlock later, somehow, how else? Anyway, I was I was uh, hyping over the, the, the combat system, the good parts about the combat system, of which there were many. Uh, so, for, for there are a number of great things. Uh, I did, I, I wasn't super fond of the whole triangle relationship between Seraphic, Martial, and Hidden Arts, because it just ended up adding confusion and, and uh, annoyances at some part, because it means if you're up against a spellcaster, then you better not be armatized, because you can't do martial arts while you're armatized, which is annoying. And I, I also didn't clue in at first that those were hidden arts and not martial arts, because it's the martial art button. There were a few things that were just kind of confusing. I don't understand why art attack... Because every attack is an art. The martial arts, seraphic arts, hidden arts are all arts. So I don't know why art attack is the name they chose for the one that fuels your magic and stuff. They should have called it magic attack, but whatever but the spell casting system because one of the biggest problems with spell casting at least for me as not a, like a speedrunner in like the other games was like it is just so ridiculously frustrating to start a spell and not know really when it's gonna how long it takes to go or how far along you are and not be able to do it in combos right because it's a tails game combos are like the the big good feeling thing so whenever it's a spellcaster character and they're just like you need to stop moving stop doing combos and just stand here for 10 seconds it's like well, that's not a video game. <laughs> that's waiting. So casting was a little tedious in the other game. So I love that they incorporated it into combos in this game by saying, if you do every hit of a combo that you're into, it speeds up the casting. So that makes it more electric to be like, dodge, do a cast, and that's a, a, a proper skill. And so you could even use it, even if there's nothing to dodge, you could say, I'll dodge twice just to... Um, uh, and that takes stamina or whatever, and, and so there's a drawback to it, but then it makes my casting time faster. Um, and it also allows you to chain spells and ca and, and uh, melee attacks into actual combos, which makes characters who are spellcasters, which I might I remind you is like half of the gate party, more, much more viable to play, rather than just being the character you set the AI to to stand over there and cast, cast, cast spells while you do stuff over here. So that's a brilliant idea. I, I mean... You know, I guess I sh this is my fault for not getting lear learning Saray very well. In most Tales games, I like to learn a character, at least one character that isn't the main character, and I usually have one main character as well. In Zillia, I, I, I was decent with Jude, but then also with Alvin and Elise. Um, in Symphonia right now, which I'm playing through, I was, uh, I, like, I'm okay with Lloyd, but I'm better with Regal or Persea. And in Symphonia 2, I played both of the characters who were there. This is the only one I've played so far that, like, really forces you to play as the protagonist frequently, and the the one-on-one -on -one fights are, are frustrating as all hell, because the thing is, and mind all the complaints I have about the combat system, a lot of them, not all of them, but many of them, are just exacerbated because I was playing on the hardest difficulty, which was kind of stupid of me to do. I, I shouldn't, I, prob I should have probably realized that that was doing more harm than good by, that, by this point. 
But at the same time, some of the boss fights felt perfectly rational and fair at this difficulty. So that tells me that if I had put the difficulty down, they would have been, like, way too easy. I don't know. Like, because I'd already gotten gear and stuff from this difficulty. I don't know. It was tough to balance. But one-on-one -on -one fights were just so super, super tedious because, I like, I think the first fight with Zvid, the battle with um, Sergei, the first half of that fight with Lunar are all great examples. That whole thing where they have, like, they just get random periods of invincibility is, is like... When you can use the Seraphim to resurrect you, it's annoying. When you can't, it's game-breakingly annoying. Like, it's, it, like, earth-shatteringly infuriating. It's ridiculous. And I, I kept looking for some reason that I was missing for why that invincibility and armor would happen randomly. But, like, I think that, that bat time where we were battling Division, it was, like, a straight 30 seconds where it was an invincible. If you're gonna make it a rent, like... My brain says there's no way they would have just made it, like, a random period of invisibility that makes it, like, like, because then it's impossible to know whether you can interrupt an important attack. Like that, that, um, second last Heldolf fight, or the third to final, the one where we were in, like, the, that big marble room. He had that skill, Concentration, where he summoned a, a monster. If you interrupt that with a hidden art, he doesn't summon the monster, and then it's like, okay, I understand, I have to get in there fast and hit him with that. But... It just sometimes randomly wouldn't work, and I couldn't figure out what I was doing differently each time to make it work sometimes over others. Which is frustrating, and, and therefore just, I don't see what it adds to the game at that point. And so what I was saying, I just, if you're gonna make it random, which I don't know if they have, but that's how it feels, because I haven't, it hasn't been un explained really well why it happens, then at least have some kind of marker over their head that shows they're invincible right now, and for how, or, in, or like maybe a little timer that shows for how long. Something, right? And I think the reason that they're all that- and, and I- at first, I, I, bearing in mind, I did actually swap uh, the combat to simple at one point, which is the lowest difficulty, um, when I was replaying that Cerberus fight to get the audio, because I- I screwed up the audio for that episode. And they still had all that random invincibility and armor stuff. It wasn't as frequent, and it wasn't as much, and uh, there was a bit of a higher stagger time. Like, there were many things that did make it easier. But that tells me that it's, in, it's on every difficulty. So what the hell? Like, what? how can that just be a universal mechanic? I, I think the idea that they were go getting at was the boss fights would be way too easy with the advanced combo system now that you have chain blasts and all this stuff, because what you could do is have... Especially if you had two players, you'd have one character, you'd, have, you'd both charge to max blast, um, one character just do the biggest combo ever with a billion chain blasts to c carry on the combo, and then the other human comes in and does it. Um, and then you could have the player character swap to the other, the, the player swap to the other player character to carry on, like, it, the, the potential for combos would be insane if they didn't have some way to resist it. But I don't think this was the solution, because all it ended up doing was making me say, okay, I shouldn't... I should never go for big combos. I should only ever use Mikleos Armatus and Fire Arrows, basically. <laughs> like, so many of the important fights were relegated to either me just spamming Crown Fire because it's overwhelming, or just firing arrows as Mikleo because I couldn't think of any other way to stay safe. Which was a real shame, because there were some cool fights in there. I think I would have preferred if they had gone the Tales of Zillia route, where bosses have a fixed amount of armor. It's like, they armor 50 hits, and then you can combo them for about 20 seconds, and then they bring the armor back up. Because that's clear, and it's not... Every time I throw a punch, I'm not guessing at what's going to happen. I'm saying, okay, either he has armor right now, so I know I have to punch quickly and get out there until the armor's broken, or he doesn't have armor, it's time to go ham. Whereas in this game, it felt more like, I have no idea what's going on with this boss anytime I throw a hit. I'm just going to try. It didn't work that time. I'm going to try. I did the same thing. It worked this time. I guess that's fine. So every boss fight felt more like a... An endurance test of how how patient can I be mashing the attack button over and over again before it finally staggers them into an attack, which was frustrating. The skill system is awesome. I was not on board with it at first because I thought it was too complex and it was unnecessary. It is amazing. The amount of customization you have at your fingertips here for how you want to play a fight, and in some ways it's just... Give me Linverm stuff so that I can kill this last boss. But sometimes, I think, like, a, a, br a brilliant example of this um, would be, well, Ebonus, first of all. The number of fights that was useful for us, and and the way that it was introduced to me through the Reflex Vest, I, I was able to extrapolate and go, oh, is it the same way for other elements? Because when we when we equipped that thing, I, I looked at this and I said, so what, what Amber, what, how do you get that? And it says, equip 10 Jason skills of the same element, and that's the Earth one. So I said, oh, can I do that for physical and it'll reflect physical stuff? It sure can. And that was a cool thing that um, the game never told me to do, 
But it gave me the tools to realize it was a, a possibility I had. And then Ebonist was amazingly helpful for the rest of it. That's a cool thing. But then furthermore, like that, that boss fight with Rose and Zavid where they were doing lots of small hits and combo me to bits. And I was like, well, this is the most ridiculous thing. But then I was able to interpolate, okay, so well, this one increases my blocking and this one heals me while I block. If I mix these two, I can get it to a point where my Ebonus and Ember are triggering, but also I'm healing on block. Like, there's so many, uh, much option, many, um, there's so much variety in the build craft here, which is just so liberating when a game is just like, here's a set of tools, run wild, have fun, do something cool. That's brilliant design. Like, I, I'm, I'm like floored by how cool it is. And the, uh, the equipment system, I kind of liked how, rather than it being like, this, sh this is a shirt, it does defense. These are boots, they do defense. This is a sword, it does attack. Each bit of equipment has two stats it does. You're either getting attack and magic attack from this, or maybe it's art magic attack and defense, or maybe it's defense and magic defense. So you, regardless, you could have a bunch of, uh, an entire set of gear, which is more or less what I ended up doing with bros, that is just all giving you attack to, to, to really build craft the heck out of what stats you want. Like, I, I think I was kind of on the, on the money with the way they were already building the characters at the start of the game, with Saray being kind of focused and him being kind of magic-y. Um, but I think I took the matters into my own hands a little with, with some of this stuff by making Zavid sort of balanced and Edna all hard defense and Lila a hard art attack, because I think she probably would have also had a fair bit of art defense. If I hadn't, if I hadn't build crafted it all the way to art attack, but that, but giving me that choice freed up a lot of creativity because then Lila's arts carried us the entire game basically because I had focused her so hard in art attack. But of course, the second I got hit by like a, the slightest smack from a club, I went down. But I was cool with that because I chose it. <laughs> I chose that fate. What else can I hype over? The cosmetic system. I mean, there are awesome new outfits. Look at friggin' little ro rosy cheeks to Ray here. These, the cosmetics were awesome in this game. I was, you, you get so many cool ones. And uh, and that's another thing. The exploration is very, very rewarding. They did a good job with that. I love, I love the Lord of the Land system. I think it's great that you, once you've explored an, an area, like the more you explore an area, the more familiar you get with it, the better rewards you get from it. Because otherwise, it's like, there's no reason to go back to older areas. You always just stay in the new, most recent area because that's where the best experience is. That's where the most treasure is. But with this, with the restoring herbs, the restoring treasure chests, there's always a reason to go back and explore an area you've already explored to comb in and see what stuff you might have missed or what stuff has is, is come back there. Which is perfect design, right? It, like, it had a very Breath of the Wild feel where, like, you know how, well, if, if maybe you do or do not know, but in Breath of the Wild every week or so in game, um, there's a, a blood moon, so all the monsters come back, but that means more parts, but all the, all the treasure chests sort of rege regenerate too, so... You might have been over in that mountain a week ago, but there's more stuff there now. <laughs> Go have fun. So there's always a- there's- there's never a point where you're like, I don't really feel like exploring on point- from point A to point B, because I won't find anything. Because you will. <laughs> and that's uh, very much how I felt about this game, not to mention the Norman system. I think I might have changed it... Because... Uh, with with the way it is now where you set a Norman and then it just like is like they have a 5% chance higher chance to to show up in the equipment around here. I wasn't as fond of that because then it kind of feels like you're playing a damn son, sorry. <laughs> it's like you're playing a gotcha game. You're just waiting for it the dice to roll in your favor and get you gear that you want. Not just gear that you want, but like a specific set of three different of the same kinds of swords you want with slots allowing for the particular skills you want. And I kind of would have preferred if it was just something like um well, I don't have the save menu near me right now, but it would be better if, like, you know the grade you get from battles and then how that gets plunk, into your Lord of the Land? I kind of wish that was then a currency you could spend where if you had Norman, you could just buy a skill from them. The same way that when you first meet them, they just let that you put a skill in a, an empty slot. I wish you could do that just, like, buy but like, just so that it's fair, you would make it a, a spendable currency that, like, you have to spend something to get it. I, in this case, I think grade makes the most sense. Or gold or whatever. But that way, it would feel a little less like the game is just like, why don't you waste time rolling some RNG? <laughs> because then it just feels like a silly mobile game. And it's like, this is not what you pay full price for a AAA game for. But I understand the desire to not make it too easy to build the absolute perfect set of equipment. Because then you would just put, like, four phoenixes, whatever type of uh, thing you want, and then, like, a billion void. So I, I guess I, I, I'm, like, fair enough with that one. But, um, yeah, the Norman, being able to, the skill building system and then the way that it's a collectible is, is great. That said, there were, like, one or two things that just, I, I felt like could have been, ex I mean, there are, I, I mentioned already that, like, with the invincibility and stuff, there were a few things that just, I felt, uh, went in, went in one ear and out the other, or never went in my ear at all because they didn't tell me. Like, a few things, burning capability plus 10%. 
Okay, what I'm guessing that means is that... Because I, I still don't know. I've just beaten the game and I still don't really know. This is a skill called Blitz Bomb. It says on the right there, burn. What The information in my brain now says... What I thought at first it meant was... Um, plus 10% chance to, to burn on every attack you do. So if the attack already had a 20% chance, now it has a 30% chance. If it had a 0% chance, like it was just a sword swing, now it has a 10% chance. It's not that. We decided it wasn't that because I got it up to 100 and I couldn't, I wasn't paralyzing with every hit. So what I think it is now is, right now, Blitzbomb has an X% percent chance to burn. Say it's a 0.5% chance to burn. Now that I've put that plus 10%, it's gone up to 0.55%. I obviously don't know because it doesn't, it just says burning capability plus 10%. It doesn't mean much. And, but I would probably understand a lot better if, if it, instead of just saying burn here, why doesn't it say 0.5% chance to burn? S seems like something that would be very useful information for your player to know. I don't understand what's the point of hiding that, really. And also there was something about if you use the same status effect multiple times in a row, there's a lesser chance of it happening, which is like, all right, I get it. So you're saying I should save it for a tougher spot of the boss fight. But if I have no idea what the chances are or how I can really affect them, because I don't really understand how burning capability plus 10% means, or what it means, how much my chances decrease if I, on a repeat occasion, I have no manual control over when I put a status effect, really. And I'm sure there will be someone who can say, who will say, well, it's obvious. You just turn off all the AI to do any of these skills and then uh, set it all to flame. And then when you want to do it, you, you, you let it fly with the skill a billion times. I got it, <laughs> but it, I... If that's, if that's what it is, it should be better explained, is, is, is my feeling on it. And, like, another one, like, Phoenix, we, and, and, and Phoenix and Invalida, where the devil are they? KO protection plus 20%. What does that mean? <laughs> of course, we ended up figuring it out. It means you have a somewhat, uh, a something percent chance to resurrect when you get killed any time. What I assumed it meant was that you had a 20% chance to resurrect when you got killed uh, on any lethal blow. I, I believe it doesn't mean that anymore. What I believe it means is you resurrect with 20% health. So getting a, two of these brings up to 40%, uh, so on. Which is nice, I guess, but I mean, on this difficulty, it's like bosses are one shot of you anyway, so healing with 20% versus 40% doesn't really do anything. So to get getting more of the rarest skill in the game, for that to not help is a bit of a letdown, I guess. Invalida, damage taking totaling less than 400 is negated. I think a better way to say it, for what we know now know it is, is... The first 400 damage you take is negated. Because <laughs> that's what it is, right? It doesn't mean... What I thought it meant at first was that if an attack does, does 400 damage or less, you don't take it. Um, which would have been awesome if you stacked up like a five of those, because then you could say... I don't even think that would be that broken. If you stacked up as many of those as possible, then it would be like... If you had to manage to get 20 of those, then it would be like any damage that's less than 8,000, uh, you don't take. Okay, that's a bit much. Anyway, I, I feel like... The, um. I'll take damage taken reduced by 30. That's pretty straightforward. Number of instances during casting. Okay. When do they recharge? We've had it before where we've had it like three of these on and then I've, I've taken three hits and then cast a spell and then I've cast another spell and had no armor anymore. So does it recharge at the end of a combo? Does it recharge when you cast a spell? There should be something saying it somewhere. You see, I guess I think you see what I'm getting at. There are a number of skills for how wordy this game is and the fact that tutorials are literally a collectible. That's how much space they had to explain this stuff. And they didn't. It's just somewhat frustrating. So the combat was quite a mixed bag for me, but on the whole, the the the, the energy of it, the electric, the, the way you rush through it is is awesome. Uh, well, it's on my mind. Don't put why why with the lollies. If you're gonna have adult characters flirt with another character, make that character an adult. It's not rocket science, and it doesn't make your audience uncomfortable. I feel like this is a win-win, but apparently I'm I I don't see eye to eye with Namco Bandai in this, so. Whatever, screw me, I guess. I'll just be uncomfortable playing all your games for the foreseeable future. Let's get talking story, shall we? I thought it was a great story. Um, I think the I think uh, the Tales, whatever team is working on the Tales games has some kind of magic formula for making lovable characters. Because by the end, like, Edna's annoying. Dezel I found too, I, I, I thought was too grumpy. Zavid I found obnoxious and mysterious at first. I loved them all by the end. I adore, I, I did. And I knew I was going to. It's a Tales game. You, I, I have not played a Tales game where I didn't end up loving all of them by the end. And the performances, while we're at it, were, were, were pretty spectacular. The performances and the writing, I mean, these characters felt so so consistent from scene to scene, so lively, lively and so full of motivation and stuff. And I mean, Robbie Damon's performance as Saray, I loved that Saray. That was such, he made him such a, such this, this folksy and, and humble and, and so charismatic 
hero. He was like such a, a brilliant protagonist. Talking story. Uh, let's let's just think about the acts for a minute. Let me just plot some it in my head just so I remember. Because like an idiot, I started this game when I was like 14 and then didn't play it for five years. So it starts out with um, Saray and Mikleo hanging out in Alicia, being ruined bros. I think it was finding Alicia was sort of the impetus for the, for the story. They kind of, they find Alicia passed out in the ruins. I forget why they ended up going with her. I think it's because Hellions start heading into your domain because that's when Lunar shows up, right? And, and murders one of your crew. So... With Alicia being like, oh, things suck down there, and then uh, Hellion come up here and killing one of your people, Saray is kind of like, I think we should go down and, and <laughs> see what's going on there. And it transpires that he's sort of the, the you know, chosen one, pulls the blade, and becomes the shepherd. Up for so it starts out kind of tokenistic in that way. But it, it quickly picks up into something much more interesting. Alicia's a very interesting character at that point in the story. It's sort of this noble, naive, like, proper knight type who's who's being completely used and, and uh, taken advantage of by her entire people, basically, because they're too warmongering and, and panicked about all the terrible stuff going on to see that she has amazing potential as a leader. And so it starts with you kind of writing the, the neighbor wrongs of Lady Lake going in and like to the, the, the sewers and beating up a slime monster and then and you're kind of seeing the corruption up in the, the higher highlands um, political space I guess and it ends up you're, you're you got to head to Marlin to, to get rid of the plague they kind of send Alicia off on that duty just like because they hope she's gonna die there um because, you know, it's a plague town and so you end up going up uh, to the, the the mountain which is where you meet Zavid all of a sudden um, and Edna, and you bump into Rose around that, the, like, you bumped into her a few times, but you bump into her as an assassin there. So you're getting introduced to a lot of major characters at this point, but you're, they're all kind of coming and going mysterious, you're not sure what's going on. And then Edna's up there with Aizen, she comes down and she's like, fine, but I hate humans, and then she helps you bring the bridge up, you go to the Marlin Plague Town, and that kind of all culminates with the fight with the the Drake there. And this is all sort of act two, I guess. Where Alicia, where um, we find out that Saray, I mean, they didn't really explain it. I felt like it kind of went unexplained to me that Saray was like losing his vision and stuff because of Alicia sort of sapping from his power because she wasn't, didn't have a high resonance yet. But they, they brought up that point, uh, story point and okay, fair enough. And that kind of plays into the whole thing of, of the, both of them sort of always taking things on themselves and not letting in on when they're, uh, they're suffering. And, and so it kind of is both for both of them. They're a bit of a thing. And so Alicia's like, okay, I'm sorry. I can't, I don't, I don't want to be a burden on you. I'm, I'm just going to go back to Highland and, and work on my politics stuff. And so she dips out and then it's kind of a somber mood. Cause it's like, oh man, but Alicia's really cool. And like, she was trying her really hard and she was you know, happy with them, and, and they were solving mysteries together and stuff. And so you kind of have it in your mind that, like, later on, you'll she'll get more resonance, or you'll meet up with her again, or whatever. Um, And that's around the time you get to the Glaven Basin, and everything goes tits up. You get uh, almost killed, Rose saves you, almost dies in the process, you hit the Tintagel Ruins, have that little revelation uh, about what the Shepherd must do and all that, and then you meet Dezel, and that's kind of where Act 3, Act 2 ends, Act 3 begins. And Act 3 is like this, um, is going around doing the trials. So you, there, there are some good morals there. I... The Earth one was a little, like, sort of rushed, um, and also it was gross. The Wind one was good, and it, and it gave you a bit of Dezel's thing there, because he, you'd, you'd known he was uh, out for revenge, and, like, that he was kind of having trouble living for anything but, and then he kind of lives for saving someone there, and, and it makes it clearly makes him happy. All you really know about him too much at that point is that he has some connection to Rose's past, maybe knew his father or something. He said he was with the Wind Riders before they were assassins. Um, and at that point, you're, you learned a bit about Rose and her sort of philosophy of, of black and whiting everything, um... And, and so Saray doesn't really jive with that. And then at the end of all the trials, you go to Lady Lake and Dezel dies. Um, and then they explain all of Dezel's thing there. And I stand by what I said at that point, that I kind of would have preferred that there had been more, a bit more of that slow drift with maybe Iris Gems or something, because it feels quite out of the blue. Um, but if you think, like, when you now that you have that context, his story makes so much sense. So if we had had any of that going into it, it, it would have been better. But then that's when you're introduced, to, sort of, that's like the first or second time you've seen Simone, and you're only barely getting an idea of what Heldolf's about at that point. And we never end up learning really what made Simone the way she is, but we understand her end philosophy by the last boss, at least. So then what, what happens right after Dezel dies? Zavid just joins the party, and then you go, you try and fight Heldolf, it fails hard. You go across the bridge to Zavgot Moor and puts her back wetland where Maven tells you everything. And then what do you, where do you go right after Maven? Back to the Glaven Basin. Oh, right, there's that bit where you split up and you go uh, with everyone... Well, you go, you go meet up with Sergey and Rose and then Alicia, and that's the second time, basically, that Alicia's in the party, and it's there for, like, three seconds, and she goes to fight her mentor. It almost feels like they had intended for her to be in the party the whole time, and then have that big fight with her mentor at the end, but they had the mentor fight, but then couldn't find a way to make Alicia work in the party for the whole thing. And I don't really understand why not. <laughs> but anyway, you do that, you meet up with Alicia for three seconds, and then you go back, and then you kind of rush, and then it's, it's all the rest of the stuff. You learn the end about, um, 
that it was the old shepherd and all who, who made Haldoth the way he is and ruined everything. And then that's that's more or less the sort of last thing. And then you go on and, and take on Haldoth and all the stuff that happens just now happens. You, you kill Zenris, unfortunately. Sarei uh, bonds with Motelis. Age of Chaos is ostensibly ended. Rose goes on and lives her uh, the rest of her assassin life, I guess. And so do the Seraphim somewhere. And then Saray wakes up uh, eventually, we suppose, way long in the future when Mikhail's got long hair. That's sort of the. I, I just plot summed it there so I could I could br- I could get a, a, pre- a perspective of it for myself. So, like I said, I think there were a number of story moments. Um, Held off thing. I could have gone done with that a bit earlier. That we got a bit more information on that. Um, Zavid, we he had a score to settle with Mautelis just because of the age of chaos. I guess he had a score to settle with Eisen because they were friends. I guess we know he raised Dezel. We don't know too much more. And Dezel, we learned it all a bit late for my liking. And no, I was pretty satisfied with how all that stuff turned out with Eisen. But it was a side quest, so we could have missed it, which is lame. Miklio, his his arc. To be clear, I liked him a lot as a character. I I don't I don't know that his arc was quite as clear to me. Um, there was a bit of like an inferiority complex thing going on at the beginning, where he was like, where Saray's like, I don't want you getting involved in this, that you'll get hurt. And then Miklio was like, Come on, I'm I'm with you for the long haul here. And like, don't treat me like a liability because that's not fair. But I didn't get too much more until the whole thing with Muse, and then I didn't even understand what the really real significance of that was anyway. I didn't feel like it added much to Saray or Miklio's arc to know that they were from Camelon originally. I, I just, I, I couldn't see what, what exactly the point of that was, except just to be able to have a bit of like an awe oh, revelation moment. <laughs> Rose, I thought, had a really cool arc. Um, I liked, I liked the idea that this sort of sprightly assassin type is just like, like, because that's already a very at odds combination, right? Like, her life has been so thrust all around um, that she just has no choice but to take it on the chin, otherwise she won't really survive. And I like, and that's a cool character thing. Um, but it also leads to her being kind of reductionist and being like, well, it's either evil and we kill it, or it's not and we don't. <laughs> and then she has to kind of go through and, and realize that things are seldom so simple. And I like that she, he and um, she and Ro, uh, Saray never really agree on that. Like, he, to the end, is just like, by the way, I, I still don't agree. Like, I support you because you're my friend, but... I think it's wrong to just decide who gets to live and die based on your perception of what um, villain he is. <laughs> so their relationship in that arc was very cool. Um, I think Lila ended up maybe being one of my favorite characters arc-wise. Also, just in all, all around, she's hilarious and, and awesome, and um, I loved playing as her because she has such powerful spells. But I, I like the... They've taken, like, the Gandalf route of, yes, it's, like, the wise sage character, but they're so sentimental that that becomes a lot of their uh, field of conflict. And I like also that she has, like, I, I kind of ended up liking the oath thing in the end because it created this very tragic image of this person who's come and gone past, like, legions, like, many, many friends who she's tried to guide and just not really been allowed to because of the rules. And so it, it gave a lot of depth and, and weight to the, the bond she builds with the characters here because it's like, you, you always, there's always this thing behind Lila where it's like, maybe this time I'll, you know, I'll keep a friend for more than, like, a month before they drop dead. But then she also has to tone it back because then sometimes she's like way too like protective of them for that reason and stuff. So it ended up being a very cool character for that reason. And I liked Dezel as well. I liked um, I liked his whole arc in the end once I knew what it was. And yeah, Alicia, I mean, I... So I looked at the Wikipedia page for this game. A while. Sorry, this is taking so long. There's a lot to talk about with this game. It gave me a lot to talk about. It gave me 107 hours worth of content to talk about. Or 150 if you uh, if you believe Steam over here. I looked on the Wikipedia for this page, uh, page for this game, um, somewhere in the middle of the playthrough. I can't remember why. I was looking for the release date, I guess. And you know how there's like, whenever, uh, for like, um, any piece of media, there's usually like a reception tab on Wikipedia, where it tells you, uh, like, kind of what major reviewers said about it and stuff. People were criticized that Alicia was underused. And I think having played it now, I completely agree. I, there was... It felt, you meet her at the beginning of the game, in the ruins, uh, she's with you till Marland, which is just kind of all of, um, and so it's like half of Act 1 and all of Act 2. She's gone for Acts 3 and 4, shows up for two battles in Act 5, and it's ridiculous too, because she has such a brilliant arc that really fits with the story, and the, the theme about finding your answer and stuff, and like, finding out what you are and aren't willing to do to make your dream a reality. And I like that they, uh, although I, I will say I like that they, uh, even though I would have, for reasons of having Alicia around because she was a cool character would have vastly preferred that she stayed with the party for much more of the game. I guess I understand why they couldn't have had her in Pendrago for story reasons and why maybe her arc wouldn't have, uh, would have felt crammed in with the other ones, but at that point I would have said, well, I don't know what, I don't know what the solution would be. I, I was going to say take her out of the game, but then I, I don't want to leash out of the game because she's awesome, but it just feels quite a shame to, un- un- to not have her in, in the, in, in much of the game at all, really. Especially, and you build a whole character to play as for her with a whole moveset, 
tested all that, and you play as her for like two hours. What the hell? And all the weaponsmiths sell weapons for her. <laughs> what, what is going on? Anyway, but I, li I, I do like the way they end it uh, with, with um, that, like that final s side quest you have with her where the, I think it was, was it the liaison between Pendrago and, um, or sorry, between Highland and Rolance, who is, who is like lecturing her at the end there, and, and she's kind of taking it on the chin, like, yes, I'll, I'll try to do better or whatever. And you kind of feel like, oh, well, that doesn't really feel good because she's already... Like, he's telling her to, to be a good manipulator. Like, he genuinely says, you need to learn to manipulate people like me. And she's like, all right, I'll try. And you're like, ah, but I don't like. But, um, Saray has faith in her. And, and then, and you, having played it, probably understand, or played or watched her scene or whatever. You understand about Lila's, or Alicia's character, that she will have the best interests of people at heart regardless. So you kind of, oh, maybe that was what the gravestone was. What did it say, Alicia? It didn't look like it said Alicia. Anyway, sorry. I like that they left it on... They, this game is, is good and it frequently does this where it leaves you on an, an ending that's not satisfying. We did it. It's perfect. It just kind of asks you to have faith. It did that also like when um, when we killed the dragon in Glaive and Basin not too long ago. You killed it. You thought you were going to purify it and then you you, you finish it off and, and like Saray hesitated and he looked all unsure and then he did it and Ro Rose kind of backed him up and then... After that, um, he's like, Rose, I wasn't able to save... And then she's just like, don't, like, don't think about that right now. And they don't really ever... They bring it up once or twice because someone's like, I can't believe you killed a dragon. <laughs> but I like that they, they frequently don't leave it on this note of, yay, it all worked out. It's just kind of like things are going to be imperfect and you you got to take it as a victory anyway because otherwise you're going to succumb to despair and, and assume that you've done everything wrong, which is no way to get ahead. So I like that. I think that's probably those are among the few or the last few things I had to say about the story. It was good overall. There were just a lot of things that were it frequently did this thing where it kept things a mystery because it was like, ooh, drama. But then all it did was lower the stakes because I didn't understand what was going on. And yeah, like with Dezel, like they they build this whole rule system about um, uh, prime lords and sublords. You can only amortize if you're under the jurisdiction of a Prime Lord, and if you're under the jurisdiction of a Prime Lord, then you're purifying, unless you, the Shepherd specifically, or the, or the Squire specifically, like, stabs them and tries not to kill them, or, or tries to kill them, like she did with, um, like Rose did with, um, Fortin. But then Dezel just kind of breaks away, then, uh, they're just like, what? He shouldn't be able to do that, and it's never explained. So the game is just kind of like, yeah, they can do that. And it's like, well, if you're gonna have to break the rules without an explanation, then what was the point of the rule in the first place? It would have been so much better if he, throughout their entire time traveling together, he was always able to kill Hellions, but they kind of convinced him not to, because then they would be like, we're pretty sure he's not gonna, we've, we've brought him down the path of the right, and then for him to suddenly be like, uh, screw it, I'm killing this one because it's Simone and I hate her, that, I think that would have been a more, a more impactful story moment than just being like, he was kind of lying the whole time and just being like, yeah, I'm just gonna break away and armatize, which we can, I can do apparently by the end of this. So sorry, just to just sum that point, because I didn't say it super well. I think it would have been more impactful if he was able to kill Hellions under their uh, pact so we, uh, um, the whole time, but he was choosing not to, which made you think that he was going down the path of, I won't kill Hellions anymore, rather than being like, um, it turns out he wasn't killing Hellions just because he can't do that while under your pact. And so he just arbitrarily breaks the pact through rules that they don't explain. Like, that, that just kind of feels like they pulled it. It feels like, I don't believe that they pulled it out of nowhere because it felt like they had set it up intentionally. But it feels like they pulled it out of nowhere in the end because of the way they don't explain the rules when they're so eager to explain the rules everywhere else about how pacts work and all that. I think that's all about the story. Um, The presentation of this game is phenomenal. The music is amazing. It's so good. The song we're playing right here, the bit that I love is about to happen. It's just so heroic and sprightly and, and just uh, dramatic and orchestral. The music is amazing. The battle themes. So Ray's theme is, is beautiful and, and heartwarming, and then the way that his theme comes into the battle themes, it's there sort of in the first one as this rightly thing, but then it comes in as this like epic like in the, in the last one, it's so cool. And then there's that dragon boss theme where there's that bit in the middle where it does with the violin and it's just like, well, how does it go again? It's just so, and then there's that theme, uh, rising up or whatever it's called. Uh, and like all this stuff. There is some amazing, amazing music in this game, and the, and the spooky cave theme. 
Zilly has one of those too, but where it's just kind of like eerie and moody. And the visuals, I mean, look at it! It's just the, the rolling hills. I might have done with like a few more varied landscapes. Like Zillia has like amazing aesthetics and all these cool like different cities and stuff. The cities were like, there were like one or two that, ooh, a treasure chest that I was like, okay, we could, it's just like a big blocky old stone tower. We've seen a few of those. But all, I, overall, I didn't care because the visuals were cool. I mean, look at the outfit design and stuff. Look at Rose! Look at her! And the anime cutscenes were beautifully animated, and, and the battle scenes, like, they have cool visual effects, the fire going everywhere, and all this stuff. And the mystic arts. This is a phenomenal looking game. I mean, I'm sure there's someone who's gonna be like, well, the oranges are not polygonal enough. <laughs> or whatever. Don't have, you know, don't have enough ball whatever. Whatever people are gonna complain about the goddamn oranges in the back of the- I don't care about the oranges! Or the fact that enemies in, in a far away render distance have a, a low frame rate of movement. I don't care! <laughs> Look how beautiful it is! So, I mean, for me, I mean, I think, like, max points for presentation. Astounding music, astounding visual scenes, and, like, a, a real clip up from Zillia. Zillia had a lot of very sort of stiff-looking, not-quite mocap scenes where the characters would just kind of, like, robotically turn around to look at each other. And this was the next game after Zillia, uh, barring Zillia 2, anyway. And they, they jacked up the motion cap scenes so hard! This game has so many memorable moments, too. Like, even though I barely remember the scene because it was years ago, I still remember the... The feeling of being introduced to the aesthetic when you see Saray in the ruins for the first time and he's just kind of going around like, oh, with wonder looking at the book and like taking notes about the wall and, and you get a, and, and like that was just a brilliant introduction to Saray. The dinner party was a cool scene where Alicia just kicks in the door and she's like, Saray, we're leaving! And then the guards all storm you and you beat them all off. Uh, not like that. <laughs> just, you, you, what's the way to, I was going to say whack them off? That's even worse. You fend them off. <laughs> why, why, why does that always sound, how can that phrase be, whatever, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the scene uh, that happened just at the end there where they had to where they killed Zenris and like they, they, they stab him and then they both collapse to the ground and they're just weeping like that was so raw and good like there's there are, there are some absolutely astoundingly cool and brilliantly memorable scenes in this game like just so cool I'm trying to think is there anything I forgot to gush about yet <sighs> This always happens I'm like I, I get I, I'm like thinking for the last three episodes before a game is over I'm thinking about all the ways I loved it in all the ways I didn't like it, and I've got all these notes in my head. I should write the damn things down, because then I get here and I don't remember. I talked about the story already, I talked about the great things about the combat and things I didn't like so much about the combat. Yeah, I, I didn't I spent a little probably longer than I should have talked about the things I didn't like about the combat, because... I mean, in the end, the combat, it's a big part of it, like, it's very combat-focused, but... There's a lot of other stuff, like, even just the exploring is very fun, and getting, like, items and stuff. Oh, yeah! The support talents! That's an exceptional idea that they've added to this game. That's just brilliant. A passive thing that you get various different skills. I still wonder what these ones that, uh, you two don't have are. I guess they would have been had to- would have had to have been things that Alicia could teach you, right? Or maybe you could have taught fusion to someone. Either way, this was a- this is a cool system. I don't know how similar Berseria or Arise, in fact, are the ones that come after this to this game, but this game did a lot of things really right with the combat and exploration. So if they carry that stuff over, like, uh, props. I, I don't know if they- maybe they went back to the linear motion after this game, I'm not sure. I, I haven't seen much gameplay of the other ones. And Berseria takes place in the same universe as this, so that'll be an exciting one to play later, because we'll- we'll get to meet all kinds of- we'll see all kinds of cool stuff. I only know a few characters in the game- in that game, I know, um, names, Velvet and Lafacet, and I know roughly their deal. But, like, not much else about that game, so that's gonna be an exciting time when we play that. As for our- our- where our future is with this game, we obviously haven't done the Crucibles yet. We should take a break. Oh, that's new. <laughs> we should take a break. We haven't, we haven't done the crystals. We haven't done that final, that spooky fight with the turtles. And we haven't hit max level. I'm sure there are a bunch of, bunch of Steam achievements we have yet to do that we should totally do. And I haven't played, uh, we haven't played the DLC Alicia's Conviction. So there's still quite a bit we can do in this game. And I'd love to do an EX playthrough where we go back on and, and carry on and do all those things. It'll be so cool. I, I fully intend to because this game has been an absolute blast. Also, just a side note, did I mention already? I've gone back and forth like five times now on this. Um, I, I was paying attention when I was doing the grind up to level 70 here, and you actually- your, your health does not level up when you do. I was right the first time, or the second time, whatever time I said that. I was right about that. It's only the orbs that do that. We better find some more orbs, and that's what that means. I'm just trying to think- uh, think what to do to wrap it up. Oh, the music is- is just amazing, though. Yeah, um, I don't know, maybe- I guess the- the scale of it feels kind of small compared to some other Tales games, because it's like you're going over like four kilometers of land. That is two kingdoms. And then the game is all like, oh yeah, I was like the characters are all like, oh, I've been journeying these lands since like for all years. And it's like you could walk across this place in like five hours. <laughs> How have you been journeying all across these lands for all of time? Oh, the store system. Yeah, um, 
I kind of liked the the store familiarity system. I kind of liked it better in Z- in Zillia, where it was like the stores had levels and you could invest in them, resources and money. Um, and you also you, you invested just by buying from them. And uh, that was what increased their uh, selection of items. I like that uh, like that design, and I kind of hoped they would keep it, because this game occasionally runs into the pitfall of, like, the stores in the beginning of the game are pretty lame <laughs> by the time you're at the end of the game. They, but when you get more familiarity with them, they start building their inventory a bit. But it's, um... Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, that's kind of a minor complaint. Yeah, but I, overall, I like the store system. I liked how, you, as you build your bond with them, they have new flavor dialogue and stuff. I like the little, um... Uh, like the gossip that comes in at the side of the screen as you're running around towns and stuff, that's super cool. I think it's cool designed to have the side quests and main quests be stored by your friend character, rather than in like a book somewhere. Overall, just a, a great time with some um, some massive ha- drawbacks and hamperings, but still a really good game. People were pretty down on it, like people, people say this is like the worst Tales game, or at least I've heard that. And I definitely think that's an exaggeration. It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing game, I, I adore it. Have I said that enough? I think probably I've said that enough times. It's just I don't want to I don't want to turn the camera off and then be like oh I forgot to talk about you know the turtles or whatever <laughs> whatever it is that I'm missing to talk about hang on give me just like five minutes to think of things um like I said before the writing is great um I I was like it's always staggering when it's a game like this because this is it was originally in Japanese they had to localize it and they still made it like funny as hell <laughs> And like really charming and, and sort of down to earth. I love all the um I love all the very like there's such character to the like the writing of the tutorials and the description of like uh, the cosmetics and stuff. Please obey all no smoking signs. Um the the dog where's the dog tail? So cruel, many heroism, <laughs> like like all these things. They just feel like it's kinda like it's it's got that like sort of campy quippy vibe, but feels tongue in cheek enough like they're like they're doing it to be go- dorky. And I think they, they they tend to skirt the line pretty well. And like and like this the one liner that, that like Rose will spout like like when uh <laughs> when you when you're fighting Heldolf and Simone and then Heldolf is like it's futile to resist and she goes resist this dumbass <laughs> and like goes just to have Simone like it's just awesome um I, I love the characters Rose and Lila were, were among my favorites I loved the way Saray was written and acted uh, the performances all around were pretty sturdy. And even side characters too, like uh, Azura. Like that death scream that Azura gave. There's such intensity in some of the actors. And like that, that like Simone, when we kind of leave her in the dust, and I kind of wish we got to see kind of like just one shot of her at the end, maybe like, I don't know, looking at a flower in bloom or something. So we would have a bit of, but I mean, you just have to have faith, I guess is the idea. Just to know that she was all right though. But like when she, when she basically is confident, that, is pretty sure that we're going to kill Heldolf and she's like, Let's that that despair-filled sob for like 40 seconds. Just brilliant. I think that's probably all I got to say. Right, okay, so that means that um, with this game, bang, gone. The three games we're playing currently uh, right now are Fire and Path of Radiance, Tales of Symphonia, and Omari. Omari, which, which we're quite close to the end uh, to. Symphonia and Path of Radiance a little less. I think Symphonia will probably take... We probably have a few... A bit longer to go in that one than Path of Radiance. But I'm going to say the new playthrough order just because I kind of want to... Get going on Path of Radiance. Anyway, new gameplay order is going to go thusly. Path of Radiance, Tales of Symphonia, Path of Radiance, Omni. And then back to the top. Until we beat one of those games, in which case the next game we're going to start is Resident Evil 1 for PlayStation 1. So look on out for that. I don't know when, but I'd love to go back and do the, the Crucibles, hit max level, get all kinds of random achievements, do finish all these side quests, uh, and eventually play Alicia's Conviction, which is a, a DLC, a story chapter I'm pretty confident now that apparently is about three hours long. I'm hoping that means you get to, you get to play as Alicia. Uh, so I was kindly told to me in the comments that it takes place after the main story, and since Saray is, you know, very much in a coma, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty confident that uh, we'll be playing as Alicia for it. I hope so, anyway. So that's what's next for this game. Um, I don't know about starting any of the other Tales games. That'll be probably far in the future, because we've got a lot of games to get through. So I guess let me just take, say now, I'm glad you came. Uh, thank you for coming along. I had so many complaints, but this game did touch me, and I, the characters will stick with me, for sure. I love the sort of the, the hopeless idealism kind of vibe that, that surrounds the whole thing. For being such a sad story with so many chunky character deaths, it was it's rather uplifting in the end. Oh, it's just so hard to close out a series that I've spent so long with and enjoyed so much. I mean, uh, we're going to be back, obviously, to do this stuff, but like... This is the end of the main series. <laughs> Sleep well, Saray. Don't kill too many people, Rose. You debate those suckers, Alicia. And Seraphim, you guys go do whatever it is you're going to do now that the Age of Chaos is over. And Dezel, <laughs> a lot of dogs have died in this game, so, you know, 
<laughs> you have some friends up there. <laughs> and to all the bad guys, Maltran, Heldolf, etc., that we uh, utterly myrtleize, my sincerest apologies. That's all for now. Thank you so very much for coming around to this playthrough of Tales of Hysteria. Wouldn't have been the same without you. This is so impactful because I started this game. This is like the first channel I uh, series I started on this channel. Undertale was already going, but that was from that old cha uh, channel that has since been destroyed and burned, um, and so we will never see the first two episodes of that ever again, I hope. Thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I will see you around. Peace! Why did it say mystery waves of the snail at the top? And I roars the world. Sorry. Now he uses it. He uses it. And now he uses it. That's a hard thing to say somehow. He uses it. Uses it as a farm for the ship of prospect to the Sides. So the process. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Alert plants delivered. Alert plants plus.